everyone, back with Dancing Dice Theater for part two of our Star Wars saga. Hmm. Okay, this has been amazing, and we are either going to win wonderfully or die wonderfully, or maybe make it into other stories. No one knows, possibly not even the DM. Hi, <laughs> I'm Gogo Incognito, and I'm coming back as Prince Addis Krell. I'm a little bit, but I got the money to back it up. So happy to be playing again as this really swank character again today. I'm gonna pass this over to my co-founder of Dancing Dice Theater, Manny Ortiz. Hello everyone, I'm the co-founder of Dancing Dice Theater. I'm also the founder of Really Dicey, founder of Nerd Caliber. Very excited to play today, uh, the continued adventures of RUG8, an Imperial droid that's now a scholarly droid, thanks to the rescue of Rebo. Uh, my uh, companion partner in crime. Um, and I'm very happy to play with everyone. I'm very happy that Jerry could play with us again. If you haven't read Terra Oblivion, if you haven't read his work at 7C, uh, Lands of Golden Fire, you should definitely check that out. But let me pass it back to Gogo. -Go. Yeah, we're really, really happy to have Jerry Grayson of Kepra Publishing back with us today because we had such a blast the first go. It was supposed to be a one-off, but we were having so much fun and the story was just kapow. So we made it part two. We're gonna get to him in a second, but now we're gonna go to the person that our co-founder, Droid, mentioned, this lovely smuggler named Brevo something or other. May, take it away. Hi, I'm May. I run a board game Instagram account and TikTok called Amira Trash Talk, where we're part review, part sketch comedy. And I am playing Brevo Valdinaldi, the smuggler. I am a little bit vain, a lot of fun, extra, but I'm worth it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm worth it. <laughs> well, you're, you're definitely worth some of my budget, I'll tell you that. <laughs> anyway, on to maybe a gentler type question mark. Probably not. We're going to Natalie as a gambler. Hello, I'm Natalie Stone. Um, I am a resin maker. I made these cute little earrings and I might have made the ones Gogo -Go is wearing as well. Um, I am kind of the resident noob here on our channel. I'm the, the freshest to uh, role playing games. And today I am playing Re Jex Reboo. I keep wanting to transpose that. Jex Reboo, I'm a gambler. I'm, um, I'm, I'm pretty suave, I'm pretty debonair, I'm a little bit shady and I have a fantastic mustache. <laughs> Very good looking. In fact, we may have to compare mustache boxes later, for sure. <laughs> okay, um, let's put a little bit of like clarity and hope into this campaign. We have a Jedi and their name is Danny. Hi, I'm Danny B. I'm a professional actress, and today I'm going to be playing Bea, and she is a Jedi Knight. She's calm, cool, collected most of the time. Okay, so very diverse, wonderful. Basically, we'll stun you with our good looks, like take all your money, but there's a Jedi with us, so it's fine. Let's now meet our GM who made all of this possible because they made this whole game. Jerry with Kippera Publishing, tell us about yourself and then please remind us what we're doing with this game. Awesome, yeah, I'm Jerry Grayson. I've uh, been publishing since 2002. Uh, published games such as Gods and Agenda, Atlantis the Second Age, Hellas, uh, Worlds of Sun and Stone, uh, Mythic V6, which you have uh, the Bastion flavor for. You also have Terra Oblivion. And uh, I'm excited actually to come and hang out with you guys. And I really appreciate you guys actually having me here because you guys are an awesome group. You guys are like a supernova, like, you know, that I have to like, you know, hold my eyes open and just have it burned into my soul uh, who you guys are. And I really appreciate being here. But uh, well, we absolutely love having you. So Jerry, um, could you give us again just a brief rundown of how this game is played? All right, let me, um, well, basically with Mythic D6, it's a D6 dice pool system. 
So you take your attribute plus your skill, uh, you add those together. So if you have an attribute that has three dice and a skill that has four dice, you're gonna roll seven dice. Uh, of those seven dice, one of those dice is gonna be your wild die. So you're gonna roll six uh, of one die and one of another. Uh, roll those and anything that rolls four, five or six is a success. Now, on the wild die, if you roll a six, it explodes, which means you are allowed to pick it up and roll it again. So if you had four successes uh, and your die exploded, then you can pick it up and roll again. And as long as it rolls four, five, or six, that's another success. If it rolls a six again, you may pick it up and continue to roll until it doesn't uh, roll a four, five, or six, or actually a six. Um, however, the wild die is a mean mistreater. And if you roll a one on the wild die, you take away one of your successes. So that original four successes would turn into three. Um, that's pretty much the system. Um, everything is basically built around that core and um, hopefully it'll be enjoyable uh, uh, for everyone to play as it is for me to run this game. Hopefully. Well, it's been a blast last time and for people at home who may be watching this one before you watch the first one, we are playing it old school styles yes. with the click clack clack. Right, I've, I've got mine ready as well with yep. uh, the yep. wild die. That's uh, a lot more <laughs> elegant than my cereal bowl. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, but see, yours is better because you know you've actually had cereal in it. When I eat cereal out of this thing, it is a mess. So <laughs> I applaud you. Yeah, for sure. So again, um, we are playing old school click clack style. So you will hear the clickety clacks, um, and just I have to take for a word what we get. Uh, there is no point in lying in this because it's kind of almost, you, you kind of can't. So that's a great thing. So um, Jerry, would you take us back to where we were when okay. we, when we well, finished our last episode? When, uh, when last we left our intrepid adventurers, you guys were uh, conscripted by Major Gaff, who is a rebel operative to come together and to uh, go on an expedition to find an ancient Sith uh, weapons lab. So basically it was a race against the clock against the Imperials who were already on their way there. Now, as uh, the adventure unfolded, there was uh, a little problem with uh, a crime lord that wanted to uh, 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 see some of the characters about past business dealings. Um, that was quickly, uh, that drama was quickly averted by the quick thinking uh, group and you guys managed to make your way off the planet. Uh, doing so through an Imperial blockade and uh, basically spiriting yourselves away through hyperspace because of the adept uh, piloting of the smuggler and their friend, uh, the Imperial droid. Uh, once you guys got to your destination, you realized that the ancient Sith weapon facility was on the cusp of a black hole. Um, using those incredible piloting skills again, you guys managed to safely make it to the facility, but um, your ship was damaged in the process and uh, managed to actually even beat the Imperial expedition there. However, when the expedition got there, their ship was not piloted as well, and uh, their uh, Star Destroyer crashed into the facility. So, um, when last we left, your orders were to go here, find uh, out what was going on, and then to destroy it so that it would not get into the Imperial hands. And um, to do that, the facility that you guys were giving to Astromax, both with Nova burst bombs inside them. Um, and yeah, that's where we were learned. They were both really shady characters. They were, they were, uh, well, you know, if you- if you, They were a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right, says the uh, gambler. But I did uh, find my notes, because I was looking for what they were named, and I did find that I did name them. It's R9D5 and K10D7 were the name of the uh, mechanic droids with the Nova Burst bombs inside them. So. If we're ready to play, I'm ready to uh, I have one get you question. guys. Oh, please. One of those was destroyed or broken when we landed. Which mm -hmm. one was broken? Well, not no. destroyed or broken, but okay. wounded fatally. Wounded uh, fatally. That's better. Yes. That's so much better. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> fatally wounded uh, with a piece of uh, 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 shrapnel and debris uh, poking through its, uh, its main uh, body cylinder. 
Um, Thank you, Jedi, for telling the truth and like right. sticking exactly to the quest. Um, because we still have to get off this ship, but the fact that we might die on it. Thank you, Jedi. That's right. Please. Please. That's right. If the bombs don't kill you and the Imperials don't kill you, maybe the black hole will. Listen. Fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> you feel better about yours, though. That's right. So which of the droids was damaged, did we decide? Mm, let's say uh, K-10-D-7. Okay. Who, if, uh, if we're ready, we will start the adventure with you guys inside the landing bay of this facility. Um, as I said before, it's uh, this really creepy Gothic cathedral-like cathedral, uh, Gothic cathedral -like, uh, facility. So everything here is old, dark, and kind of creepy inside. Um, your ship? smashed up against the wall, sparks coming from uh, uh, the ship internally and externally. As you guys, uh, we'll start with you guys all hovering around uh, K-10 as it's laying on its back with uh, the shard stuck through it. It's one blinky eye, blinking in and out, kind of fading a little bit, then coming to, then it, it fades again and it comes to its, I, I need a drink, says the droid, which only, uh, 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 Manny's character can understand as it, it says, uh, uh, I, I need a drink and uh, some pizza rolls. Oh man, I could go for something salty. Uh, uh. And the other droid, you guys see it's pushing up against it, a uh, little like uh, manipulator arms out and it's beeping at it, cooing uh, uh, sadly at its um, friend. Uh, uh, it's, it's gonna be okay, buddy. It's gonna be okay. I say, uh, I, I say, uh, I apologize. I am not programmed in bartending. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, bro. Just tell J4 that I love her. And its light starts to blink out. Is there anything we can do to not then, let the light go? Never mind. Just go. Ooh. It I'm okay. I'm okay. Where are we? Where are we at? Let's go. It Let's needs go. a drink. Revo, what did you do with the liquor you just took from me? I drank it. <laughs> God! J4, please. Oh, they're not right. here. Oh, no. Crickets. Um. But what does make a sound is the groaning of this facility. Um, groans that you guys have heard before if you've ever spent time in space knowing that the ship is incredibly unstable now. It's, uh, you know, because it's had like, you know, a giant spaceship crash into it. Um, but uh, it's still a uh, livable outside. So what are you guys doing? Um, unlivable? Oh, it's, it's livable. Well, it still has an atmosphere inside. I'm sure it's escaping in some places, so who knows what would happen if you guys open a door in here. Look around my own vessel, um, mm -hmm. the, which is called the One for um, life abetting helmets or goggles or other kind right. of gear. Okay, yep. So are you getting the, the most stylish expedition clothes that you have? Any of them. Okay. <laughs> are, are they marked uh, by the day? So there's the Monday expedition clothes, the Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and all those you days that come out. you keep it in my closet, GM? Yeah, no, <laughs> exactly. Well, not, well, after the restraining order, no. But, you know. Um, basically just looking for something that is called, you know, that's like the most hospitable for the most mm. inhospitable. Oh, like okay. dire need. Okay. Okay. Does it have a cape? I'm already wearing a cape, but sure, we can have another cape. <laughs> Fair enough. Capes on capes. Yeah, no, that's right. That's right. That's how we know someone's rich. They have a cape for their cape. So. And then I'd also like a cake, but that's near and hither and there. Right. So anyway, expedition stuff, goggles and helmets and things you put over your Face, be able to breathe. Okay. What do I find in my closet? You find all of that stuff. You have basically everyone has a small rebreather that will attach 
to a little like um, uh, system on your belt. So there's actually a utility belt thing that you guys would wear that actually connects to the rebreather, kind of like what you guys saw in Empire Strikes Back uh, when they were inside uh, the belly of uh, the beast, um, something like that. Um, K-10 has been propped back up and, um, you know, being pushed along. You guys uh, can actually see the readout on him is really erratic. It's kind of like when someone smashes their phone and you can kind of read the screen, but not really. Like you have to put, press your finger and then you can see, you know, that, oh, I got a text. But it's kind of like that on his readout uh, for the Nova Burst Bomb. So you're not quite sure what's going on with that. Um, uh, R9, his is fine. His is basically ready for you guys to basically activate. Um, uh, when, Sorry, uh, when and, the, and the one who's not Kaputsta, his name is K10D7. Yep. Okay. No, K10D7 is the one that just died. It's R9D5 that's fine. Yes. K10, oh, I thought. Yeah, K10 is still active. He's just all. Radically, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's having yeah. a time. Yeah. Grady, Grady, can can he be fixed? How long does he have before it like flatlines? Oh, uh, not long. I I am more concerned that uh, he's uh, his system is so damaged that it may activate um, uh, the uh, bomb that he may have uh, within. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, see if there's a way I could remove that from uh, from this robot. Mm, okay, well, give me a technical plus no roll, and you're gonna need three successes for that, if you would, please. Okay. So roll those bones. All right, seven. You Ooh. said seven, and I was like, you can't roll a seven on a D6. <laughs> That's right. You can if you're a uh, uh, Manny's character. <laughs> 23, uh, 29, but I, I rolled a six on my wild die. Oh. Mm. All right, uh, 33 for the first one. Well, not a 33, because you're only counting successes. So anything that rolls a four, five, or six, you count as a single success. Don't sum oh. up the dice, uh, because honestly, I can't count past 21. So, and that's uh, with my shoes off. <laughs> no, sorry about that. I, keep, I confuse it sometimes with the old school uh, yes. West End. Yes, um, absolutely. Oh, so in that case, I have uh, four successes. Four successes, and you only needed three. Okay. So this is what you know. Any strong jostle will probably set this Nova Burst bomb off. Um, so you can, you look at it like, you know, you kind of open it up, open up his chest, um, and... Um, other stuff starts to fall out, like um, stuff from, um, gosh, I can't remember the name of the characters now. Let's see. So uh, yes, Prince Addis's, uh, some of the trinkets from Prince Addis's house fall out of uh, 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 the inside of this thing. Um, and it says, I was gonna return those, That's my bad. Um, but yes, you see the Nova bomb in there, but it is got like that piece of shrapnel kind of pushing it to the side that's mm -hmm. sticking out of its chest. Um, not to say Good you can't work, take it out. Grady. Thank you. These belong to my great, 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 great grandmother. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and they were part of my will. <laughs> Is there anything that can be done to stabilize the joy? Um, to, uh, what, to make it more comfortable or to make it less volatile? Make it less volatile. Oh, the, um, well, um, yeah, there probably is. Uh, you're probably going to need to work on it. Um, you know, the, the quickest thing would be to extract it, to, be, uh, to take it out. However, you could probably jury rig something, or if you were so inclined, perhaps use the force to kind of buffer it so that, you know, any type of jostling won't affect it, like, you know, I'd, I'd very much like to do that, however I need to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, then this is what we will do for you then. Give me, let's see, you would be using your telekinesis for this role. Okay. Um, so give me, how are we going to do this? 
give me a uh, physique, which is two dice, plus your athletics, because essentially what you're doing is lifting, but you're using telekinesis to do it. And telekinesis is one extra one, right? Yes, and roll one extra dice. So you would have a total of six. blah, blah, six dice, right? Yeah. <laughs> How many successes do I need? Um, we're going to say you're going to need two. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. You should probably do that. Before. Roll one success, please. <laughs> okay. Three successes. Okay. So, uh, uh, Abea reaches out with the force, lifts uh, K-10 up, and K-10 is now doesn't jostle as much. Um, so it, it looks better. <laughs> I feel like I might have done a good thing, but we should probably move quickly. Yes. Oh, one thing that I forgot to remind you guys of that I reminded you, I believe, at the end of the last game was that Abea actually sensed the presence of some type of malevolent force upon that, uh, the Star Destroyer that crashed into this place. So there is some bad mojo going on over on that ship. There was a disturbance, which, you know, kind of feels like a little uh, butterflies in the tummy or something. I, I don't know how, you know, your disturbance in the force feels, but that's the way mine would feel. I'd be like, ooh, either bad Taco Bell or there's a Sith around. <laughs> and it was, it was on the ship that crashed into, not the one yes. that you, okay, okay. Well, this ship, everyone here feels a foreboding and a sense of dread on this ship. However, there was a little extra that came along. So, you know, a little icing on the cake. Yeah, extra foreboding. Like, there's something really big and boss and badass that maybe can't be bought <laughs> coming at us. So that means I need all y'all to, like, step aside. So we get in. Love for us to get this show on the road on account of this droid that might blow up at any moment and the Imperial forces at our back. So maybe we could start exploring and find out whatever it is we're supposed to find here. All right, yes, everyone suit up, please. Suit up, suit up. You know, my closet full of practical things that DM <laughs> has said are there. Breathy thingies, helmet thingies, cloak thingies, take your thingies, one and all. Is a vac suit what I need uh, to yeah. get off this thing? Okay, you I could, have you one. Could wear, you could wear, okay. your back suit is actually more than, because um, yours is essentially a space suit. Okay. So yours actually has like a little helmet you could put on. But we were okay. supposed to have the rebreathers. So we could yes, just... exactly. All so right, I'm going to put on my rebreather and find the most expensive looking cloak that I can get my hands on. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. uh, you guys have the help cloaks. There's uh, uh, the prince's closet, and then there's the prince's friend's closet, which, you know, it, it's not as awesome, you know, you guys. It's you know. better than what I had. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. You guys. So uh, we're all uh, leaving with rebreathers. Except for me. I'm wearing a vac suit because. Yeah, we heard you. Brevo um, will not so yeah, put on something that belongs to Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, we will, we will also examine this latent um, sexual tension in another episode that Ooh. will be pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're all in rebreathers um, and uh, utility belts and cloaks of some kind of thing, GM, sir? Yeah, whatever kind of cloak you guys want, or cake. However you guys want to be stylish. Yeah, but what does it do? Makes you look cool. Can okay, you, that's, yeah. that's not exactly what I was, I mean. Yeah. No, the cloak, does, the cloak does not add anything for like a vacuum, except something to kind of flap about when you get sucked into outer space, but it does cool. look cool. But all you really need cloak is... Cloak of looking cool. What else do, would you wear a cloak for? <laughs> Except to look cool. I don't know. Flaring. Besides Just, the reaper to be on outside our ship. Right. <laughs> What's that? We need anything besides the rebreather to leave? We should no. Be In fact, um, you know, once you guys drop, like, you know, the landing um, 
uh, a door and uh, walk out. There's an actual atmosphere out here. Um, you know, this is just basically a safety precaution, uh, just in case something does happen. Um, but outside, everything is covered in a layer of like dust. Um, you know, um, since it hasn't been used in thousands of years. Um, anyone who goes outside actually sees like the ventilation system is occasionally it will shoot out a little bit more dust because somehow it's active now. And maybe that's just because the sensors picked up that there are people here. So it's actually, you know, activated. Um, but occasionally there's, you know, puffs of like, you know, dust coming out of like, you know, the ventilation system. Um, when you guys walk down the, the landing plank, um, lights actually start to come on automatically. Low lights, sinister looking lights, because this is a Sith ship. So everything here has just a, a level of malevolence uh, added to it. They couldn't just use, you know, just a 40 watt, like, you know, warm light. It's probably like an orange light, uh, cast really crazy shadows on you guys, up lighting to make you guys look more sinister. Um, and that is what you guys see when you come out of this ship. Um, in the landing bay next to you guys, you guys see ancient um, uh, ships that are in uh, various states of disrepair. Uh, some have fallen apart. Uh, some you guys actually crashed into when you guys crashed into the landing bay. Um, your ship uh, sparks here and there. But who's the first out of this ship? Oh, oh, Brevo. Um, yeah. Query. Uh, should I? stay behind and do repairs on this ship? Probably. Uh, my poor baby. Uh, <laughs> if we're going to leave, the only way that we can leave is here. Um, or old, you know, ship, and I'd rather not have to do that. So, Wait, if you, I'm so sorry. You wouldn't like to be saved by my ship? I would like for you not to be here. Or to fall off the side of this fountain. Oh. Um, Honey, yes. I feel so bad for your parents and that therapy bill. Don't worry about uh, my folks, therapy bill, Alice. Folks, we uh we got an exploding robot. If I don't need to remind you, and the Imperial it's forces on our tail, school. I would love to get at this show on That's the road. Great. And I'm gonna go down. Just the ramp trying right to now. leave my robot to fix the ship. If you guys want to escape, just saying. I can't hear you. I'm outside. Bye. <laughs> I'm also going because I find Brevo to be just so tiresome and toxic. Ugh. <laughs> I thought I had issues. It looks like the group agrees. <laughs> it, looks so, like, it looks like the group agrees. I will stay behind and do repairs. Cool. So you guys all walk off the ship, out the hangar bay and into uh, the corridor. So once you guys walk, you know, through the doors, long corridor just opens up, uh, you know, to the left and right of you. Uh, again, the orange foreboding lights kind of light up and go into infinity that way, infinity that way. And um, occasionally uh, lights will flicker as you guys walk down these halls. Um, what are you guys looking for or looking to do? I want to see if we can figure out like if the sort of like malevolent feeling is just everywhere or if it's coming from somewhere specific in the base. Can I do like an intuition check for that? Yeah, absolutely. Give me an intuition plus your perception. Okay. Um, let's see. It's probably going to be pretty high because you are not force sensitive, but no. Uh, you can absolutely make this because you can like go, okay, that hall feels nasty. Let's not go down there. Where this one, that probably leads to the uh, uh, the daycare, Sith daycare. So give me a roll. You're going to need four successes. Okay. Uh -huh, baby. Yes, I got exactly four successes. <laughs> awesome. You know, uh, you know, or you feel through your intuition you know, which way to go. Are you uh, moving that uh, in that direction? I am. Okay. I have a question. Um, oh, question? Yes, how yes. Far are, as we're walking into the corridor, we're entering into the place now. How far from where we are is where the, the Star Destroyer crashed? Well, um, imagine that this facility is 
let's just say like 10 kilometers uh, in diameter, um, probably four kilometers away um, by your reckoning, um, which, you know, in the larger scheme of things is probably not that far considering, you know, you've got like people movers in here that could probably move you that distance within minutes. Um, but, you know, about that far away. But the ship is huge. Don't want you know. kind of start keeping an eye on extra things besides the creepy in this building. That's what I'd love to know. Right. Fair enough. And uh, you guys take off down that, um, that hallway. And occasionally you guys will see a pool of liquid pooling, uh, maybe condensation coming out of some type of uh, uh, life support system or air conditioning system or something like that. So there's a pool of brackish, muddy brown water uh, here and there that, you know, this thing is like, you know, starting to come to life. Um, the area in here is really crisp um, uh, and sharp. Um, kind of like if um, when you go outside uh, and it's winter, the way the air just feels sharper than it does during like the spring or the fall. Um, <laughs> And you guys move on down that hall. Um, everyone here, give me a perception roll. You need three successes. So I need perception plus investigation, please. Going to need three successes. All Diana. right. Um, can you give a quick reminder exactly how to do that? Ah, roll. Um, let's see. Let's uh, take an example with the prince. Let's look at the Thank prince's you. perception. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the prince has a perception of four dice plus two plus an investigation of... Donut. Perception? So, uh, uh, perception. Wouldn't that be spelled P-E-R? Oh, that's right. I'm looking at your presence. So your perception. Thank you. Okay, there is, we go. Uh, three okay. dice. And you don't have any investigation. So you need to roll four fives and sixes uh, on those three dice. I have one success. Okay. One success is good. In fact, that's a noble success. However, not good enough to make uh, the rolls. <laughs> but good all together uh two successes two successes three three successes um okay so i did all smell bad that is true <laughs> well no because they're wearing your clothes and i'm sure these things are laundered with you know nothing but the best oh, it's in their, it comes from their soul oh you guys have stinky souls kind of like what's in my shoe <laughs> but uh Except the Jedi, no harm there. That's All right. Love. You That's see why they rolled three successes. You <laughs> see what looks like their footprints that run through this dust on the ground. But before you, as you guys were walking, it was uh, an even coat of dust on the ground because the place is so old. However, in front of you, you just see some footprints just moving off into the distance. Uh, kind of the opposite way that you guys are going um, or down a different hallway uh, than you guys are. So they're appearing or nope. they're all guys, already there yeah. now? You guys are were walking uh, um, uh, uh, down the hall uh, following um, what Jex, you know, decided like we need to go in this direction. And then you, uh, Ibea looks over this way and looks and sees uh, just, you know, small footprints, just not like, you know, they're actually being made, but just some in that dust. How many sets? Is it just one set of footprints? Just, just one. one. Still in the direction that we need to be going or a different? I'm nope, sorry. opposite direction. But you do see those. Now, we're going to cut back to uh, RUG8, who is in the ship fixing the ship. Give me a technical pleasure know-how roll. You're going to need five successes for this. Ooh, right. Grady, Grady. Grady, 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 Grady. <laughs> Four, five, and sixes, right? Four, fives, and sixes. I got five successes. Five successes on the <laughs> dot. So you're God. outside the ship, fixing the oh, ship, uh, putting it together. So you're out there tinkering, doing mechanical stuff. Uh, there's sparks because, you know, you've got welders and stuff whirring and <laughs> all that stuff going on. And then the doors open and you hear people coming in. Hmm. You have a ship here. And you see uh, two stormtroopers coming in. Aw, sh- When I say, you say see them, like, 
like not like yeah. on a screen or just... no you're you're on top of the ship you know just imagine you're on the top of your ship fixing uh, the air conditioner unit i'm not sure you're uh you're uh, you're, you're putting freon in it uh i don't know but uh you're fixing the top of the ship and uh you know as you're fixing it you're like yeah just fixed it roll five successes boom and then you look over and the doors open and you see two stormtroopers come in they've got their uh carbines in their uh hands um they've got like this like little droid floating with them and the droid has a light and the light is kind of like a like a laser light so it's this red light that's kind of cutting through like the dust and debris of like that's floating through the air and kind of scanning the room as you're up on top of this thing and you hear them saying you know we found a ship here sir does the ship have any internal like defenses um i don't know does the ship does brevo know if the ship has an, any uh uh, does it? Well, or actually, it's your guys' ship. Does it? Yeah. I mean, they're probably not very prodigious. However, you know, you guys might have like. Um... Also, my ship is in like the bunker of yep. Revo ships. So. Yeah, your ship uh, has like its little security system on it. Um, but you know, do you guys have a security system on the ship? You guys tell me. Of course, Revo. we have a security system. This is not just anyone's ship. This is my ship. Okay. Right. Is it is it a lethal system or is it just basically that ding dong that you got on convenience stores when you walk in? <laughs> it just meow meow. Or is it like something where like a gun comes out and starts disintegrating people? Yeah, it's the inside of your own ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That seems. Dangerous. I belong here. Uh, <laughs> no, it, um, it's more like an alert. Um, it's uh, not. It doesn't have anything okay. lethal in it. Okay, so maybe it just, maybe Sorry. it shocks them a little bit. Like it gives them an owie. <laughs> Need to put in the code. Yeah. <laughs> the light tasing. Yes, the light tasing. Come on, Yeah, that's All a right. good Friday night. But, uh, All right, so I, I want to hack into our systems and activate the internal and uh, outside the defenses so that when they, hoping if they escape out of there, they'll get blasted. Um, okay. And also, if... I'm assuming I have some sort of communications. I, I do want to alert Brevo that, uh-oh, we have unwelcomed visitors. Uh, absolutely. Yep. So you, you've said that. Give me a, a reflexes, and you don't have any stealth. I'm assuming you're trying not to be seen. Yes. Absolutely. Give me a roll using your reflexes without, well, you don't have any stealth. So sorry for that. That's all right. That sort of makes sense for <laughs> this droid. All right, rolling 2d6, uh, one success. Okay, that is their difficulty to see you on top of the ship. So they start moving toward the ship and I'm gonna roll uh, my dice. We'll make that rolling noise. I missed the bowl. <laughs> okay, and they rolled a number of successes. I'll tell you about that later as we cut back to the group as they go down this hall. So, you guys are moving down this hall. You guys see the footprints. Uh, what do you guys do? Who is in front? Dex, and I'm behind Dex. Oh, actually, marching order, I like it. That's fine, I'll come up after Jax, putting Brevo in the rear. Okay, how do you put Brevo in the rear? I shove my butt in front of him. Oh, no. Fair enough. So you get bow guarded out of the way, Brevo. Do you actually, do you mush as well? Do you do the mush? No, or, uh, the defense is too my brow for mushing. They just that's right. they glide. And, and how does I mean, Brevo- I glide, Look, I glide, I glide in there. I just glide in there, mm. okay? Yeah, you, you don't even see the prince's feet moving. It's just a smooth glide. How does uh, Brivo uh, react? Does Brivo just uh, give difference to the prince uh, because this is how the prince uh, acts? Just any excuse to touch me, right? Just any excuse. <laughs> and then I like fade back and kind of try to turn to make sure that like nobody's coming up behind us. Okay. It's fine, I just put my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Going in the direction we're still currently heading. Okay. Oh, are you? I'm, I'm asking, I know you said there are footprints going the opposite direction. Is there yeah. any footprints heading the direction we're currently nope. heading? Nope. Okay. 
where are the droids that we're taking? Are they like in between uh, us? Or is one of them like levitating above our heads? Like mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, one's one's levitating and one's just kind of rolling, uh, mm -hmm. beeping uh, at uh, and no one here probably maybe Ribbo, you might understand binary. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, everyone else, you guys just hear the beeps, just you know the. Can I check the droid to see if it has coordinates of like where in this facility we were supposed to take it to explode it? It does not have any because uh, that's why they were given to you. Uh, you guys, oh, yeah, you right. guys pick the place where it will do the most uh, damage. Now right. these things are, it's essentially what you guys have is a, the warhead of a missile inside of these astromechs. So right. just imagine something that a capital ship would shoot at one another mm -hmm. is inside these astromechs. That's um, so that's what you guys have. Something that, especially on the inside of a ship, will do a ton of damage because you don't have shields or armor plating to mitigate any damage. Okay, I understand. So Jax was just trying to like navigate us to the spot that we had previously picked to drop these guys off. All right, good. Perfect. Okay. You guys continue on and you guys uh, see... Um, a few bodies. Um, you you walk through a hallway and you see on the side in these like uh, capsules with only their face uh, exposed are these mummified bodies, oh. um, and it just lines the wall as you guys walk by these horrific. They're you know all like you know they're uh, no one's smiling as uh, you know, but they're all just kind of dead along the wall. Oh, are then, they like in that calcium carbonate situation? No, because that would be less fun for the Sith. Basically, these oh, are goodness. pain amplifiers uh, lining the walls just so you could torture oh. people on your way to work. So there's just uh, pain amplifiers on the sides of the wall. So kind of like if, if this was medieval times, the way you would see people in stocks. These are the equivalent to stocks as you guys walk down this hallway. Oh, um, hey. And and they're all, they are all dead? They all look dead. I mean, you know, they look they're dead. Like, they're, they're, um, they're, um, they're, um, they're not dead, but they're immobilized? Uh, no, they kind of look dead. They're desiccated. They're mummified looking. Oh, oh that's disgusting. Um, faces okay. twisted and horrific grimaces of pain. Um, yeah, it looks like um, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a bad scene here. It's a completely bad scene. As you guys walk down a hall, and um, you guys, uh, you know, down this uh, hallway, doorway, and um, doors open, and you see what looks like a huge archaic lab facility. Um, and there are different, <clears throat> crazy, just a, a plethora, a virtual cornucopia of different weapons and other strange items in here in uh, different stages of development. Oh, did you say weapons? All sorts of uh, things. Like, yeah, you see knives, you see sticky things, you see shooty things, you see... I'd like to investigate the shooty things, please. <laughs> you want to I thought she was going to say the sticky things. <laughs> the sticky things. <laughs> That's how show, more about you than me. But anyway, That's the right. shooty things, please. So Have the prince uh, goes over to investigate that. What about uh, Jex? Where, where is Jex going? Uh, I want to check out and see if there's anything that is um, like technology oriented um, that might be still functioning. Um, okay, that's what you're doing, Ibea. Uh, Ibea, when I, because I have um, Whammy the, the droid, when I walk, is it behind me? Is it just kind of following me as I yeah. move? Yeah, well, you control where it goes. Great. I just wanted to make sure that as I go, at least I've got one that we know we have in control. Um, I would like, if we're in a lab, I want to see if there's any research that I can look into. See what's okay. going on here. And uh, Brivo? Um, I'm going to kind of stand near the door and kind of just watch everybody back because I see them all kind of scattered to look at things um, to make sure that, you know, while they're investigating, nobody's coming in right. the door from behind us. Okay. Okay. So you're doing that, and uh, the other droid, uh, R9, uh, stands next to you. Okay. And uh, he just, he wants to confide. He says, I know that me and uh, K10 were, you know, we're destined to go out like G's, but I, I don't think K10's going to make it. K10's all the family I got, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
I, I don't know. Well, little, little friend, um, we're going to try to get you both so that you can be together in the droid afterwards. What? Okay. What do you all believe will happen afterwards? Well, um, he, uh, he says, well, I'm, I'm Lutheran. So I believe <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> it goes into his droid belief, uh, <laughs> Uh, which is, you know, something like that's really convoluted and has probably like a droid messiah and tells you like some weird contradictory story about like, you know. Predestination, free yeah, will, exactly. baptism. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Goes into that <laughs> and stuff. And uh, shows you actually has um, a tattoo on its backside of, uh, uh, you droid know, the virgin Jesus. droid. Yeah, the virgin droid. Uh, <laughs> But um, goes into that. Uh, Jax, um, there are tubes with um, uh, uh, beings in it. So different aliens and stuff. And, um, you know, uh, kind of like um, formaldehyde uh, alien thing in there. Formaldehyde alien. Then you come to one that is not. And you see that there is a living uh, alien in one or alien in one. Well, that seems bad. Well, you know, it's in there. Uh, how would I see if I know anything about what this being is? Like, is there a check I can do for that? Do I recognize uh, it? No, you can, well, uh, about what type of being it is or who this person is inside. Um, I mean, I'd love to know both, but... Okay. <laughs> there's, a, there's a readout, like, kind of like... Um, uh, 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 you know, on the site that's giving all of its life signs and things of that nature, uh, probably has a name on it. And a lot of the technology is fairly simple um, over the course of thousands of years of this, you know, uh, galaxy spanning uh, um, communities, things have become kind of, um, everything is got essentially the same kind of like, you guys know how to use stuff. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, it, 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 everything has to function this way. Uh, so that everyone can use it. Sometimes there's uh, issues with appendages and tentacles and stuff, but it all functions pretty much the same. So you guys can push buttons and figure stuff out. Um, so you do find out that this is a research scientist. Um, uh, it also says prisoner. So um, research scientist slash prisoner. It says that on it. So uh, that's what you find there. Okay. Um, the prince you find these really crazy looking weapons that look like they attach to the person that is using them. You don't actually hold it so much as you use it as an extension of yourself, kind of like a bio-organic weapon. So- I understand, you know, okay. Um, I understand bio-organic weapon. Um, we're not gonna say how. Right. <laughs> Let's just go with the fact, this is a little meta right here. I'm sorry, folks, but a little meta right here. I do. Um, I'd like to check and see if any of them were made by Krell Corp, oh. which is my family who makes both nice and very not nice weapons yeah. for both nice and yeah. not nice people. Are any of them Krell Corp? No. This stuff, like when you pick it up, it literally is dusty. You're picking it up out of dust. These things are thousands of years old uh these things are they were alien are they alien tech beyond like me as an alien yes they are definitely something that is you guys don't see this type of thing um, okay. there's probably cultures that do have things that are like this but this thing is out of a horror movie just imagine if uh the cenobites from uh uh, uh, Hellraiser. Hellraiser decided they were going to make, uh, you know, this is the Lamashan uh, uh, laser gun. You know, this thing is weird. It's got appendages. I'm and... sorry, are you, try are you trying to talk to me about stuff I already know? That's so cute. Um, <laughs> I would like to kind of go over them all and see if there's one that I feel a, like, deep vibe connection with. Oh, absolutely. There's one here that just would love to be a part of you and to love to serve you. And, you know, it is, it is there to serve. Are we sure about that? Oh, it is absolutely sure. This thing would give its Can life. Can I roll on that to see if it's absolutely there to serve rather than steal my soul? 
it, to steal your soul. It does not want to steal. It wants to enhance. Um, Can I but, roll on that? Absolutely. Let's right. see. Give me uh, your intuition plus your, mm, we'll let you do your presence because basically this is you against the machine. All right. And Hold I on. will roll the machine. I'm going to roll five dice and this will become your difficulty. Okay. Well, do you want to? Tell, yeah. tell yep. me. Three successes so, you will need. And the successes are? Uh, three, four, four fives, and sixes. Okay, I have only three successes. Three for... successes. This is a thing too, maybe it's, uh, um, we went over it probably the first game, but you guys also have hero points. So let's say for instance, you guys aren't sure about your roles. Uh, although you got three successes and you needed three successes, let's say, for instance, you only had two successes and you wanted to kind of beef up this role. You can spend hero points. Um, and just for an example, the prince here has eight hero points. If you look at the bottom of your character where it says derived attributes, there's SP, which is how much damage you guys can take, your strength points. Mm. Hero points are uh, HP. Um, so that's how many hero points and you can spend up to three at a time. And those are three additional dice that act as wild dice. So if those dice, if you roll those dice and they explode, you can get more bang for your buck out of them. So not to say you need to, just that you can, if you choose to, however, you, well, not necessarily. Oh, you can, if you want, but you had rolled three successes, right? Yes. You succeeded already. Yeah. You've already succeeded. So you don't have to. So. Okay. What you get is that this thing does want to become uh, a part of you. It wants to, um, to integrate itself into you and to serve you. And that is what it's here for. Well, that's it, absolutely speaking my language. Absolutely. I know. Just, part of me is like, get in line. And right. the other part of me is like, well, you're already here. Right. And I might need you, so. Come awesome. On. So you put it on and this thing kind of, wraps itself around like your uh, forearm. And at first it stings a little bit, but then it kind of feels good. It's kind of that kind of hurty, feel good feel. Like when like when you've got like an itch on a scab or something, you just like, it's like, ooh, this hurts, but ooh. Ooh, I let's like... talk about something less disgusting like eating sriracha. Ooh, it's so True. Scary, but it's Well, so that's what you're gonna have to feed this thing because it is hungry. But then- All right, I'll get you, you will... some hot sauce. That's kid. right. Uh, uh, Ibea, you were looking at other technologies and yes. this yes. place is full of it. I mean, you guys, when you're in here, you see that there is research on any way imaginable to murder someone, how to subjugate people, how to disintegrate people, how to partially disintegrate just so it hurts even that much more, uh, just horrible, horrible weapons and everything in here has an accent of pain to it. Like it just doesn't want to kill you. It wants to hurt when it kills you, you know. Um, Are any of these things new things though? Oh, no, nothing in here is new. Nothing in this entire facility. It's all old. So this um, might not be what we're looking for. Cause I want to make, this might not be well, the area. I'm, the, I'm assuming. Well, you guys have found the research what? facility here. You guys are in this a research it. facility yeah. uh, inside here. So yes, you guys are in this huge room and the room is probably about it's, 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 it's uh, octagonal and it's probably uh, in diameter, maybe a hundred meters wide and there's multiple levels to it. And, you know, just imagine if you guys were, it, it's, it's almost like being in the atrium of a mall. Yeah. If the mall was put there to murder people. So, yeah. you know, it's like, um, you know, I want to go get something out of the section for human deprivation. I'll go over here, you know, I want to, you know, that's what you guys are in. Gotcha. But while you guys are letting that marinate, oh, did you have something I mean? Uh, just, uh, if this place is thousands of years old, but there was somebody alive that Jack saw. So I just, I'm just going to now in my brain, figure out the best place to leave my friend, uh, okay. K10. So I'm just okay. Like one okay. So you're now. looking for a place. Um, okay. So that's what you're doing. And then we will cut back to RUG8. Uh, who is on uh, uh, the uh, top of uh, the spaceship, which is pushed up against like uh, the hangar bay wall. 
um, two stormtroopers and a little like scanning droid are moving in. Um, and they go inside the ship, like, we're going inside the ship. You know, stuff being, you know, communicated back and forth. Um, now, refresh me again. What was your guys' security system like inside the ship? Light tasing. Yeah, it's just like a like a little electric field, like it's like <laughs> yeah. light tasing. Think of a light tasing. It's just uh, gonna inside. like make you wet your pants and embarrass oh, yourself. Like, you have to go, like, well, okay, well that's a little more than light tasing then. That yeah. is light tasing plus humiliation. Yes. Well, luckily stormtroopers wear those little white diapers. So yeah. they are equipped for you know, have an not very absorbent though. No, they, 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 oh, those are cod pieces that don't even connect in the back. Don't even try <laughs> us. Right. You know, it smells in there. Like once you've got, it's like just <laughs> fermating. Yeah. Well, it's it smells like a uh, sad person plus Axe body spray because that's all <laughs> the Empire uses. It just smells like a gym, like their yes. own personal gym, just after exactly. all time. True. Uh, it's, okay. it's just bro despair. True. Uh, oh, despair. Um, that's um, it. Uh, Manny, please roll four dice for me. Um, and that's going to be the difficulty that they're going to have to resist as they walk into your ship. Do good, Grady. And I will Don't roll die. my dice. Ooh. Uh, my wild die exploded. Awesome. All right. Uh, three successes. Three successes. So... Uh, these uh, stormy troopers will have to beat three successes in order to not, uh, oh, actually they have a little bit worse. So it's not three dice they're rolling, they're rolling two dice. Ooh. So you've got three successes, you say? Yes. So the first one, okay, he got two successes. The other one's wild die exploded, so that's one. Okay, so um, you're outside the ship, and you hear inside the ship, we're inside the ship. Oh my God! Ah! Ah! And, uh, you know, you hear like gunfire go up inside the ship. Um, and um, you see one of them kind of like running back down the gangplank. Um, and his hand is kind of doing this. It's kind of spazzing. And uh, he's like, the ship is, uh, it's been secured against us, sir. And, um, you know, then you hear, like, you left me in here, man. It's not cool. <laughs> and then you see, like, another stormtrooper crawling out on his belly. Um, and uh, uh, there's that trail behind him, just a little wet trail as he's crawling out. And he's like, oh, man, Mike, again? He's like, it's like, <laughs> and he says, uh, no, man, listen, I tell you, it's a, it's a problem I got. And uh, he crawls back out. However... Um, you are scanned by that droid. The little ball is above you, and you hear it makes this like kind of alarm noise, like meh, 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 and the light flashes on you. What are you doing? All right. Um, I will. I will maybe smash it. Okay, you're gonna smash it. This is where we get into combat, folks. So, how do we roll initiative in Mythic D6? Well. All right, this is how we do um, some fights here. This is how we roll initiative. Initiative is basically your perception plus intuition if you have it, which I'm looking at your character sheet uh, and uh, RUG8 does not have uh, intuition. However, uh, you do have perception of two dice. So you roll those and you give me the successes. The stormtroopers and the little droid, they roll theirs. And then basically whomever has the most that's who goes first and gets to do their thing. So, uh, Manny, roll your uh, dice. I will roll mine. All right. Booyah. One success. Okay. I got two successes. So, um, this is what happens. The two strong troopers are down there, a little bit uh, kind of spazzing and stuff like that, a little spazzy. However, the droid up top, it kind of like sounded an alarm and then it kind of backs up from you and you see like uh, there's a little hatch that opens up and this little like manipulator arm comes out with a restraining bolt. Oh, okay. So it backs up, uh, drops the restraining bolt and starts coming straight at you, okay? Um, now, 
You can rely on your passive defense, which if you look down at your derived uh, attributes at the bottom, uh, your PD or your, not your, um, your PDV uh, is a one, meaning I need one success in order to, um, you know, attack you. Uh, however, you can do an active dodge. So you don't, instead of using your passive defense, you can roll your evasion plus your reflexes and that adds to your passive defense. So you have a base of one right now, um, but by rolling dice and taking an action, you can actually increase that if you so choose, but that's an action. Um, and you can take as many actions as you would like to take. It just gets progressively harder as you do so. So what would uh, RUG8 like to do? Well, definitely uh, uh, dodge it. Okay, so give me an invasion plus your um, reflexes. Okay. Uh, two successes. Two successes. So this thing needs three successes in order to attack you. And it does not. It only gets one. So it's coming at you. You realize what's going on. You kind of move out of the way, maybe bat it to the side. Is there anything you would like to do? All right. Um, hey, what's going on up there? And, you know, it's moving around. All right. I have um, extra limbs. Yes. Uh, since I, <laughs> can I use that to help me trying to, you know, uh, break this droid? Uh, yeah. Your extra limbs allows you to do like all sorts of manner of things. So, for instance, you know, you've got these two arms, you might have two other manipulator arms. So, you know, you could actually do something here and be doing something there as well that might require you to manipulate stuff. But absolutely, <laughs> give me, uh, what would you like to do with it? All right, maybe all four of us <laughs> just kind of like try to smash it together, kind of like a fly. Okay, so you're trying to attack it or are you trying to grapple it? Uh, kind of like splatting it. Okay, cool. I, uh, I like that. Okay, so give me a fighting plus your reflexes roll. Fighting plus reflex. Uh, You're going to need one success to uh, oh, okay. hit this thing. All right. I have one success. Okay, so you managed to smash it. And you do basically your basic damage value, your BDV, um, plus your PD. So you do six points of damage to this. Now, the average person in Mythic D6, just a normal Joe, can take 10 points of damage. Uh, you guys being heroic can obviously take more damage. But this thing you smash for six points of damage. Um, you can also use hero points to do additional damage. Each hero point does an additional four points of damage. So um, you can spend up to three, meaning you can do an additional 12 points on top of the six points you've already done if you so choose to. Not to say you need to, just that you can if, you know, it's there for you. So um, are you happy with I'll, the six or do you want to put some stank on it? I'll use one to do four more points. Okay. So you do. You smash this thing. It explodes in your hands. It's, it, you know, just, <laughs> just kind of explodes. The guys are like, there's someone up there. Get up. And he's kind of picking up the other stormtrooper. What are you doing? All right. I want to activate the outer defen uh, defenses. Okay. Give me, this is going to be a little bit tricky, considering, you know, your defenses are made to be used inside. So give me a technical plus uh, reflexes. Let's see, technical. Okay, 5d6. All right. Uh, three successes. Okay, so you needed three for that one. You've got them online. Now what? So uh, the, the gun starts uh, training towards them, your guys' uh, little shooty gun on your ship. Uh, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, just tell the ship, um, it might be best if we blast them. Okay. Give me a blasty roll using your range fighting <laughs> plus uh, your coordination. All right. Range. Um... Oh, don't see it on your character. Yeah. Give me a coordination roll. You're right. not built for murder. You're a lover, not a fighter. That's true. Ooh. Uh, uh, while die exploded. While die exploded again. It keeps going again right, until it stops. Yep, right. just okay. keep going. All right. Uh, that was three successes. That is awesome. You, uh, The gun swivels and shoots off a couple like blaster bolts. 
Now, these blaster bolts are meant for other spaceships, not for little guys in white diapers. So when it hits them, it obliterates them. It is a huge explosion. And uh, it actually takes out some of the hangar bay as well. And your ship kind of rocks Hello. back to the end. Ow. Uh, so oh, boom, shit. the ship kind of like rocks. It was like tilted up against the wall this way. And it kind of falls back into the hole this way. And you kind of slide down. And there is stormtrooper everywhere. It's going to be hard to get this stuff out. I would probably suggest using like, you know, some type of like simple green or something like that. But, you know, whatever like your household remedies are. So, <laughs> oh, dear. Back. I wonder if I went too far. Yes. <laughs> Back inside the research facility. Oh my god. That's so good. Oh <laughs> Straight blown up stormtroopers. Um, back in like the, the mall of like uh, mayhem and mutilation, uh, what are you guys in there doing? So uh, I'm looking at our uh, research scientist slash prisoner, and since I know that they're alive. Um, I'm going to turn and tell the group, I'm like, this guy is alive and he was a prisoner. I think we should get him out. Are there um, directions there to show you how to do that? Yeah, there's absolutely. You guys just push a couple buttons. Um, I'd love to have somebody else like out here on our side. And I think that would so help our cause once we get back to be like, we liberated this whole person. Person, yeah, person. Pretty sure we're 100% just here to blow up a base and we don't know who that person is. We also don't know what they were doing here and I think this person would know and you guys can just kill him if he's a problem. That's very he was gonna die anyway. You just volunteer us to kill people? You're not paying I'll me. kill him. I mean, even if we didn't kill him, the Nova Bomb would have. So it can't hurt to take them out. No, let's, let's, let's take them out. Let's explore the possibilities. Again, I can see this all in headlights. <laughs> right? So while they're arguing, I'm going to push the buttons and I'm going to uh, free our research scientist prisoner. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So you're over there pushing the buttons and it does what you expect it to do. There's steam coming out the side and weird noises being made and lights on the inside of like, uh, you know, this chamber. And... Uh, you know, the door kind of like, you know, pulls away this like little cocoon thing that it's in. And it's an alien. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's humanoid, uh, has a feathered uh, snake head. So it's got this plume around like this snake face, this multicolored plume, uh, uh, you know, very pleasing to look at. Um, although, you know, it's a snake face. Um, but, you know, it's Star Wars, whatever. And uh, it kind of like comes out um, it staggers a little bit and, uh, steadies itself on your shoulder and um, starts speaking, kind of hacks a little bit, coughs, and uh, looks at you and says, Who are you? You're not one of the Sith. <laughs> uh, Definitely not. Uh, we're part of the rebellion. Who are you? The rebellion. Uh, what are you rebelling against? It's complicated. Long story short, mostly the Sith. Um, uh, uh, who are you? He says, I'm a Dengaris. Uh, Den, Dengaris the Maker. <laughs> That's so nice. What do you make, Dengarth the Maker? Uh, Dengaris the Maker. I, I was, I made a deal with the Sith so that my people would be left free. Well, and I was taken here to make things for them, mostly, unfortunately, weapons of war. I okay. feel like this. Ooh, yes. Eee. You don't want that attached to your arm. And you here inside your head, Prince, you do want this attached to your arm. We're together here. I'm with you 100%. All right, but... well, the prince likes flattery, so we're keeping the arm. <laughs> That's right. And when you think about it, you're like looking at your arm. Which arm do you have it on, by the way? On the right arm. Oh, look at those guns. Man. Oh, well, do you want to see closer? 
Oh. Whoa, you guys better get that. Okay, yeah. there we go. We're done. Get her to the veterinarian because those puppies are sick. <laughs> there you go. That was my joke. Thank you. I'll be here all uh, weekend. Try the veal. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, Dan Garris, he says, I've made quite a few weapons of destruction for the, my Sith masters. Where are they, by the way? And he kind of looks around. See all that dust you're looking at? Ooh. Good chance they're part of that. Um, I, don't say, I don't say that to them. I say that out loud to myself because I'm not close to them. But that's right. what my response is to what he's saying. Uh, I'm, I'm deeply grateful for your liberation. But I've, I've done many things. Many things that I'm not very proud of. Many things that have killed many. That sounds very intense. Um, listen, we're, we're kind of in a hurry. We have to blow this place up. Is there anything we should know about before we do that? Perhaps my, my last weapon. And he uh, kind of like stumbles over to a chair and sits down. Uh, kind of more like he slumps in the chair, tired. Um, looks over for like his coffee mug and looks in it with all the dust and, you know, just pushes it to the side. My last. I, I poke Brevo when he does that and say, give him something from your flask. Why? Because <laughs> he's already tired. Flask. Why would it be if he was drunk too? <laughs> Gonna give him some of that juice. <sighs> Here, I'll take it out and You'll pour like out. a little bit in there, even though it's dusty. Oh uh, yeah, it, it kind of makes a a, a murk, uh, a he murky just like a paste. A but you know what? Dust and whatever that was. Yeah. <laughs> he just kind of drinks it down. Woo! And yeah, you see like his uh, his plumage kind of like you know kind of quivers a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Strong stuff. However. As I was saying, my, my last greatest creation it takes another sip. Um, I was tasked by my Sith Lords to create a device that would subjugate, that would control. We had already made weapons of destruction, things that would tear apart uh, uh, beings on a molecular level, disintegration, things that would harm, maim, but nothing that the Sith could use to control the people, lest they have an entire galaxy of just desolation. Yeah, that sounds bad. Like, is it here? Can we make sure we blow that up first? If it is here, I would like you as a, as a, a gift to me to allow that thing to go free. My greatest creation! Uh, we can talk about that once we find it. How about you show it to us real fast? Ooh, yeah. It says, uh, come with me. And he uh, kind of uh, uh, gets up and, you know, kind of uh, lifts to one side or the other and uh, says, it's in another facility. Not uh, here? No, no. These, these are but simple creations for destruction. Great, so we can blow this one up now and get out? Oh, absolutely. I, there's nothing here I would like to see ever again. Sounds good to me. What do you guys think? Oh, it's in another facility in this building. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, this is starting to feel kind of personal. Like, aren't we supposed to just like, I don't know. <sighs> I mean, but don't you think that if the, I mean, there's an Imperial Star Destroyer here already. Should we pretty much work pretty hard not to let them have this particular thing? How far away is it, uh, Den Gareth? Says it's down uh, the hall. It was an entire facility I had built for my uh, creation. Uh, How shit. long is it gonna take Slayers. to walk there? Not, down not the very long, building. not very long. Brevo, please give me a perception roll. Plus investigation. As I, all this was happening, I said a while ago, I was looking for the best place to leave my droid. Have I found a place for that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 
good. You, you maps, uh, do you set it down? I am probably going to set it down in one turn. If we're going to blow this place up, I'm going to take off that buffering effect once we okay. if once we decide if this is, we're going to blow this place up. Beautiful. Okay, you needed two successes and you got three. So you set that down and Brebo, down the hall, you see the hallway lighting up again as uh, other people are moving down the hall. And you see, uh, what you see is a, um, a group of stormtroopers uh, mm -hmm. moving and they've got like these little floaty like droid things that are moving mm -hmm. and uh you see um one person who looks completely different not dress regulation for an imperial uh officer or anything like that they're wearing uh really long leathers um it's a female um she's got this really ornate uh hairdo where her hair is braided and it comes up like horns and comes back down and is braided and severely like kind of like uh, uh, kept that way by these like brass rings that are in uh, her hair. Um, That's the Seth. Uh, well, could be. Oh, hair uh, side. <laughs> in, in her neck, she has uh, some of those same brass rings stuck through the skin. Oh, great. Um, and also in her uh, arms and down like her fingers. Oh. Um, you see this. That's and uh, she's cautious. wearing all of uh, uh, red leathers that drag behind her. It's like she's wearing like flared bottom pants, but the flare is ridiculously long. It's in fact too long to actually be reasonable, but because it's cinematic, it works. So she's wearing uh, bell bottoms with a train. She's yeah. wearing the bell bottoms yeah. with the yeah. train. I like she's it. Also I like, like the idea. Pierced. And I'm just yeah. worried that she's gonna catch something. She's gonna have one of those piercings at like hip height, absolutely and cat and a doorknob, you know. And you see like she's got her midriff is bare, but along like her um, her belly, she has these, um, they look like wooden tubes that, you know, like here, here, here. And it's like a belt, like a, um, it's not really a, a, a corset because it's not to hold anything in. It's just, they're handier here. So that's what you see coming down the hall. Can she see? Oh, I guess I don't know if she can see us. All right, we have company, you, Tube Man, let's boogie. Where are we going? Yeah, cause let's get out of the way of the set. Uh, uh, beep, 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 uh, uh, says uh, the droid that you just set down, uh, Abea. Um, if and it's, it's, it's beeping, and the other droid kind of moves up to it, and they're beeping together. And then, if, uh, oh, go on. I'm sorry, I don't, if, how far do we have to be to not be destroyed by this bomb? Like, if I set it off, are we, we're still within range, so I don't want to do, I don't want to Oh, yeah, it. you will be within range for, like, probably, like, a couple hundred meters. Okay, well, then I'm not going to set it off because we are all way too close. Right. <laughs> if it was just me, that'd be different, but if it's so, just, if it's all of my team, that's, I can't, I'm not, I'm not willing to set it that? off. Oh, I'm on. too pretty to die. It that doesn't have true. a remote detonation. Uh, yeah, it's it's oh. the droid. The droid will detonate itself. This is even the one. And the one droid is, is with have that option, yeah, right? The option on this one may be there, may not, because remember, it's yeah. um, it's little readout was smashed. So, what do you guys think? It, it, it does say, um, and you can hear it, Brio, because you can speak uh, binary. It's like, I can do this, man. I'm going out like a G. And you see like this little like arm comes out, like, you know, it opens up and the arm comes out and another arm comes out and they fist bump. <laughs> and uh, you see like R uh, R9 puts this little manipulator hand on its head and goes, I'm gonna miss you, dog. I'm gonna miss you. He's like, get out of here, man. And then uh, you see the R2 unit turns its head and cause it doesn't want K9 to see it, you know, sad. And he says, let's go. Um, are you gonna leave uh, K10 there, or oh. how far away? The other facility is it far away? Is it outside? Oh of my the God! Why are we saying no? Yes, we don't no. know where it is. Yeah, but, we uh, don't uh, know. No, it is definitely not outside. Uh, to hear him speak, it is definitely not outside the radius yet. But you know, but K K10 thinks he can do it. He can hold it. All right, I got, this. I got it. I got it. Let's go. Okay. Please. Can we go? Huh? I let him go. Bro, we're trying to leave. When I leave him there. Okay. I say, I tell him thank you, and I go. And, uh, All right, so I'm gonna lean into him and be like, "You hold it as long as you can, man." And when that works. crazy horn lady gets in here, right? One. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> and as you guys leave, you see its other manipulator arm comes out of its chest, but it's holding something. Mm -hmm. And it looks over at it, and you see it's a picture of J490. <laughs> and it just kind of looks at it as you guys leave the room. <laughs> and uh, you yep. guys. Peace out. What's that? And you guys leave the room. Back Peace in the hangar bay. Yeah. Uh, what is uh, RUG-8 uh, doing now? You just obliterated two stormtroopers. I'm going to go back inside the ship and start preparing to, to leave once they get here. Okay. Um, you're going back in. Uh, you're trying to right the ship, uh, testing the engines, firing them up intermittently, but you're not, like, you know, starting up everything, I'm assuming, just making sure things are um, yeah, intact. Smooth. Okay. Doors open again. This time, a couple more stormtroopers. However, in front of them is looks like an Imperial officer. One that you recognize named Captain Vril. Oh, no. Who you used to work for at one point in your uh, storied career as an Imperial droid. And comes in and, uh, you know, looks over at the ship and starts, you know, barking orders to these guys. You're in your ship. What are you going to do? No, they're, they're still outside the ship or they're coming in. They are absolutely outside the ship, but they are in the hangar bay. And um, you see they're coming in. You see, like, a couple, like, heavier troopers. Like, they've got equipment with them. Um, so they come in, and they look over at your ship, realizing your ship doesn't match the make and model of the other ships that are in here because your ship's not covered in dust or, uh, you know, as broken looking. So everyone is focusing on your ship. And, you know, there's probably lights on inside, like, you know, the uh, cockpit. So, you know, they're looking in and seeing. So, what are you doing? Um, uh, let's see. All right. I would activate the outside defenses. Okay. Um, and what are those? Is it basically it's your guys' blaster on your guys' ship? You guys have, I'm not sure. Let me see. I have it written down here, but I think I gave it to you guys as well. Your guys' ship has a gun on it that I can't seem to find. Ah! It, it says BDV 12 times 2 Yep, the and weapon. you guys got side turreted blasters. So you have blaster turrets on either side of the ship. So the the your ship's uh, turrets are coming online, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay. You see they're putting down equipment and um, they're putting up uh, force screens. So they're putting up force fields. Um, it's basically they... The guys who come in with the equipment, they set it down, and you see it's a droid. And the droid, and you've seen these droids before, their dedicated purpose is basically just to make a force field. Hmm. And they put down that droid uh, as a force field, and they start moving towards your ship. Hmm. Well, first, I, use, I turn on my communications, and right. I reach out to Brevo. And, and I say, uh, Brevo, I, I believe I have a situation here. Um, what's the situation, Grady? Uh, there are storage troopers outside with force fields, and they're making their way to the ship. The ship is repaired, uh, mm. but I do not think I'll be able to hold up long against them without destroying everything around me. What is your suggestion? Did you already turn on the outside defenses? I have turned on <laughs> the outside defenses. Just had to ask. Just had to ask. I assumed that you did. Um, I guess... We're headed towards the back exit of this building. You could uh, get into Prince Addy's ship and come pick us up. <clears throat> yeah, you can try that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wash the bad taste out of your mouth. <laughs> no, no, it's not how it's not how they really feel. <laughs> Well, that, that is an excellent idea. That, that serves, that actually answers my second question about getting a mop. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Ah! <laughs> All right. All right. I shall do your suggestion. I will turn down, uh, keep using the outer defenses while I go to the other ship and come meet you somewhere by your coordinates. Yep. Thanks a lot. Attention. Whoever's inside that ship, power down uh, your weapon defense systems and come out with your hands up. This is Captain Brill of the Imperial Star Destroyer. He can't remember the name of it. Hold on. He says it's it's around here someplace. It is. I've written it down in my notes. He says, hold on. It is. Uh, what the hell is the name of the ship? 
It's got a really harsh and bad sounding name. Very uh, imperial. I can't think of it right now. He said, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I have it written down here someplace. I have it written down in the other guy had to take a Star Destroyer. He just turns around and gestures to the Star Destroyer behind this one. This yeah, ship is that, that one over there. <laughs> exactly. But I do have it written down. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So that's what he says. All right. So I, I, I do what Priva suggested. I turn on the outer fences, let it go crazy against them while I go and use that, uh, use that chaos to go get the, get the other ship. Okay. Yeah. You absolutely, you get into the other ship. Are you taking off in it? Yes. Okay. The other ship, by the way, is called the one. Oh, the one. Is it written in cursive on the side of the ship? No, a- cursive? <laughs> what do you think I am? Cheap? That's right. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just trying to find the name of this ship. No, I the one single letter. No, no. The uh, Star Destroyer that crashed into the uh, side of this thing. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Right. I forgot we were still caring about that. <laughs> <laughs> you're hurting my heart, Anakin. Where you're going, I can't follow. But, um, but anyway. <laughs> no, I, think, no, I think it's no the Star problem. <laughs> I, I thought we name it the Star Destroyer. I have it written down somewhere. Yes! Yes. Exactly. yes. <laughs> Yes. Yes, please and thank you. That is perfect. But, so you're getting inside that ship and you're taking off from this hangar bay. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. So that's what you're doing. So the ship, the, the back uh, cargo doors open up and this sleek, very posh looking ship kind of slides out of the back of it, uh, turns around, goes through the force field that is, you know, basically keeping the atmosphere into the hangar bay as uh, stormtroopers are shooting at it. Uh, setting up like you know some heavier weapons and firing at uh, your guys' ship. Give me one piloting roll, and and uh, let's see. Give me a piloting plus your coordination. All right. And hold on, let me see. Mm. Okay, you're gonna need two successes. You can do that. I do. Two oh. successes. So the ship is a. Uh, 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 hit by, you know, various pieces of blaster fire as the ship leaves, but nothing uh, uh, too bad, and your ship basically goes uh, uh, out into the void. Um, and so now you're outside the ship. Meanwhile, back with this other uh, uh, part of you guys' ragtag group, you guys are, I'm assuming, you know, a little bit more hurriedly moving now. Yeah, got a, got a nice clip okay. jogging down the hallway. You guys, uh, Get to uh, uh, the room, and again, you see those small feet, uh, small footprints leading uh, into and out of the room. So you see various footprints all, you know, around this doorway. Hey, hey, Tubi, Tubi, come here. You are here. What do you? What would be making these? Um, you're asking uh, uh, Dan Garris. Yeah, like I'm calling him Tubi because he came out of a tube. Oh, oh Tubi. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Burn. He says, uh, he says, uh, she must be free. My greatest creation. I call her Vegas. Oh, and, your greatest um, creation. The thing, the mind control thing? Says, no, not a mind control. This controls more than just the mind. It controls, and he touches uh, your chest with his feathered uh, uh, hand. He says before, like, he, you know, he has his hand on like the door thing. He says, as I was saying, the Sith were masters of destructions, masters of manipulation, but they oh, wanted a tool no. that can control uh, uh, and manipulate people. And through my creations, I have created it. But once they saw what I had wrought, they looked at it with disdain and punish me by locking both it and myself away for future punishments. What I've created in there is a thing of compassion and of yeah. love. There. And uh, he opens the door and you guys see a little feathered creature. It's a little female version of him is what you guys see. And it kind of looks up, it has these two big bright kind of goldy, uh, golden flecked uh, eyes. And um, he says, Vegas, Vegas, I am here. And you see this little girl runs up to him. Ah! 
Toby, it's adorable. It's adorable. Do the same with this little puppy? girl match the footprints that we're seeing? Oh, uh, so yeah. Cute. These little uh, footprints. So the greatest weapon of control is a puppy, effectively. You made a, a tiny, cute puppy. baby. No, the greatest controlling element of the universe is compassion, empathy, and love. And that's what I gave them. Will However, it let me pick it up? Uh, yeah. Ah! She touches your face and kind of smiles if a snake person could smile. This is so cute. <laughs> Y'all gotta hold it. <laughs> and it, uh, he, he says, No, not you. I know. <laughs> he says, uh, <laughs> This is what I'd, I'd like you to take away and to, to let it, her flourish. I, I have condemned myself by creating these weapons. And I would not like to see the universe that I have sent these things out to create. I am tarnished. And she, she, is pure, it says. Okay, I'm gonna cover it, what I assume are ears. Right, little <laughs> I'm just, ear holes. Well, Snake's got so ears, right? what exactly does she do? Like to, to be a weapon? She loves, she cares. Okay. It's the ultimate force in the universe. You must understand this. So I would really love for our Jedi to maybe get a word in here because love and compassion, they're all great, but Jedi. Okay, if we take Vegas with us, is there anything else that you've created here? Anything else that we should know about? Oh, this, uh, besides just the, the, the gravity lens that this entire facility is, using the gravity of the event horizon to project particulate matter across the galaxy at its death, uh, to its target. Death Star. How do we find that? How, how do we Death find Star. That? How cliche. That was uh, invention number uh, 1834. We threw that one away <laughs> decades ago. No, I don't think you threw it away, but um, okay, 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 okay. So we need to blow the whole place up is what you're telling us. The whole well, thing has to go. I'm assuming it does. Now, doors behind you guys down the hall open up and you hear that, Uda, stop, put your hands up. And you guys see some stormtroopers and one um, fantastically uh, um, attired uh, young lady with, you know. Is it the young lady with the leathers and the really cool hair? Yes, and Come the uh, bleach, bleach white skin, uh, red uh, uh, makeup, and the uh, brass rings and accoutrements. Uh, Danny pretty. thinks they look really cool. If Bay is not a big fan. <laughs> That's, right. That's a real cool aesthetic right there. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what are you guys doing? You guys are sitting there holding up this little girl. Got an old guy there. Down the hall are some stormtroopers and uh, one uh, um, young lady who looks like a mean mistreater. Um, I'd really like to know about this bioweapon on my arm at this point. Yes. <laughs> oh. Says, are we doing this? Are we doing this, Prince? Please, allow me to serve you. Please. Yeah, tell me what you're about, son. Says, I will give to you everything that I have. Just point and tell me who to murder. At what cost? No cost. Only the cost of uh, uh, your enjoyment. I, I, I live to please, and the only cost would be your displeasure. From where do you get your bullets or your energy? From inside you. Ah, and we have the cost. <laughs> All right, yes, nothing is ever for free. Tell a rich boy and we will right. learn. Okay, shut up. <laughs> okay, so what are you guys gonna do? They're down the hallway. They're not in the, they're coming towards the room we're in. Yeah, yes. I'm kind of down for running. I'm down for taking like the guy who talks like he's very <laughs> serious and the kid like, and just, Booking it. Booking it to where we book got it. it. Yes, yeah. Just book it hard. Book it hard. 
Okay, yeah. awesome. So you guys uh, take uh, off Brevo, running. Brevo and Jack's thoughts? Let's go. All right. Okay, so yeah. do you guys do that thing where like your feet go and then you guys take off and there's just nothing but bobby pins and smoke behind yeah. you? Actually, it won't be bobby pins and smokes. It'll be fantastic capes this time. Just capes. That is true. <laughs> Please, as we all just run away. I can't hit them because of the capes. Where are they? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> all of you. Please give me oh. a reflex plus movement roll. Reflex? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Reflex plus movement. Oh, now. no. Oh, is yes. plus two. What is it plus two dice or just plus two the number? Uh, what are you asking about? I My reflex is 4D plus two. So is it 4D plus the number two or plus two dice? Ah, let me tell you about Mythic D6. When you have a pip attached to like a, a number, so you have four dice plus two, yes. meaning you roll those dice and let's and you know that you need to get a four, five, or six for success. However, what happens if you roll like a two or a one? What you can do is add that plus two to one of the lowest numbers in your dice, making that a success if it does. So you have to add it to the lowest roll. So if you get a one, it'll only make a three. But if you get a okay. two, it'll turn it into a success. And we're rolling uh, reflex and movement? You're rolling reflexes and movement right now. So that's four or five. And the advantages, how often do we get to use those? Um, well, you have a frequency next to your advantages. Okay. So let's look at uh, Jet Rebu, who's a slippery scoundrel. Um, you could uh, um, use that three times per game. Mm -hmm. So you can be as slippery as you need to be. You know how to get out of situations if okay. you choose to do it. And you can do this after the roll. So okay. make the roll first, and then let's see uh, how it works out. So everyone needs to give me three successes. I got four. I got one. Okay. Okay, so, so <laughs> I did one of, what, what, what was it? It was, what was the first one again? Uh, reflexes plus movement. Yes, okay, my reflexes, um, I had uh, two successes. Awesome. And I don't know what to roll for my movement. Oh, you know why? Because you don't have movement as a skill, which is a skill. Oh, oh because everyone moves around me. I understand. <laughs> we exactly. move around the friends. That's why. Yeah, That's right. well, I had a, 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 well, I had a six, a three, a five, and a three for my extra. As your extra? Your extra? My, you Wild said my, eye. wait, what was it? Uh, roll, you roll three dice, correct? Sure. <laughs> awesome. So on those three dice, what were the results? A six, a five, and a three. I'm sorry. I thought okay. I had to pull so an So you, you, got, you got two successes. Okay. Um, and if you wanted to get more successes, you could spend up to three hero points. So you can spend one, two, or three. No, I, think, I, think, I think I'm good. I You're think good I'm with good. the two? I'm going to use a hero point to make it three. Okay, so, so roll... Two. Roll the, uh, what you want to do, roll the hero die, or roll an additional die, or, you know, however many you want to use. Hey, so you got a success on it? Yes. Okay, so you got three successes. So who got at least three successes? I got four. Four successes, three successes. Jax, what did you get? Yeah, Donuts. One, one, success. Two, one success, two successes over here. Okay, is there anything you guys want to do to augment these roles before I move on to like, um, you know, dismembering your characters and stuff like that? Is yeah, there was to help our stuff. other friends who didn't make it? Like, if I got one more than I needed, can I, is there some way to assist and give them one of mine? That is not an actual rule, but I, I, I like where your head's at on this one. Like, you're trying to pull them along? Yeah, I mean, I would love to help Jex, but one's not going to help them. It could potentially help the prince. Yeah. It also, could. I'm a slippery scoundrel, so I'll be taking advantage of that in just okay. a moment. So is that what you would like to do, Ibea? If there's a way to do that, because I would still succeed and hopefully help them succeed as well. We will allow it to happen. So also, I did roll another thing, which now I don't remember what it was. But I <laughs> it's too late. You're, you're being helped, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> So I also, I, uh, but I rolled a five on that. So I think whatever happened, I'm fine. <laughs> you're, you're, you're fine. You look good doing it. Um, as uh, I bet, like, uh, as you're, you're running and um, 
you guys do not even see Jax. Jax took off down a different uh, path. Because uh, Jax was like, I got to get out of here. And basically decide they're going to chase the bigger group. I'm going this way. Now, Jax, would you like to use your slippery scoundrel uh, advantage? I would. What this, what this allows you to do is either pick up all the dice that failed and re-roll those. Okay. Or um, you got it at, hold on, let's look at your character. Um, you got it at uh, three. You may roll, uh, you may... Um, roll three dice, or you can just re-roll what you have. So depending so, on which one is greater. So I can re-roll, I only have three dice to roll anyway. Okay. So I can re-roll my two that failed, or I can just re-roll all three? You can re, uh, no, you would roll three additional. Oh, three additional. Right. Let's do three additional. Go for it. And is one of those my wild die? Uh, no, these are just all stinky Just three? Die. Okay. All right, I got two more successes on that roll. Okay, so you took off down a different hallway uh, as they were moving. And basically what this uh, roll represents, your guys' movement roll, is to figure out if you guys took the right path. Not necessarily how fast you guys ran, but did you guys, were you guys able to run away and get someplace where they can't or where they're chasing you because you know they come after you there's lasers flying past you guys as these guys are running after you guys and um you guys manage to run around a corner and make your guys three successes now for the stormtroopers they're gonna roll their dice and see uh if they can keep up with you guys okay and stormtroopers are not known for the cardio so they're gassing out early uh you know, so like there's oh, stop and they're shooting like lasers at you guys uh, here and there. Um, what I am going to ask for is for everyone here to roll uh, their presence. So roll your presence and tell me how many successes. Low rolls, get it. So you want to roll as many successes as you can. Just uh, presence by itself? Yep, just presence. Oh. Yeah, I know. Four successes. That's a good one. What if I didn't even have any in Zero, because I rolled one and my wild dice was a one. <laughs> oh. Fantastic. I got, I only had two, I, have, I rolled two dice, I got one. Okay, that's more than uh, Brivo got. <laughs> so. Two fours, look at us go. Here we go, Brivo. You're gonna get hit by laser blast, or you may get hit. There is a potential for you to be hit by laser blast. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Um, would you like to try to evade, which would be a second action for you, if you um, want to try it? Sure. Okay, so you're going to roll your evade mm -hmm. plus uh, your reflexes. Now, you're going to take two dice out because this is your second action. If you wanted to do a third action, you would take out a third die, and it would keep compounding oh, up. Oh, okay. Just, so, okay, so it would have been five, but I take out two? Yep. Okay. Oh, wait. Wild eyes. said... Wild dice out. Sorry. Woo! <laughs> rogue die, uh, rogue die. So two successes. Okay. So your normal uh, passive defense value is one, but now you're going to add two additional successes for three. So the stormtroopers have to roll three successes to hit you. Good. Um, bad aim, bad aim. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, this fire team here. Da -da 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 uh, let's see. Okay. So they are shooting and lasers are flying past you. You've managed to uh, evade them as you're running away, holding uh, uh, this uh, child in your arms, um, and lasers are flying past you guys, blowing stuff up around you. Um, you look so cool. Did they yes. miss me? You look uh, so cool right now. Like, you so are the you're so and you're awesome. just it with this are not everything. Snake like, a, like a hot dad. Just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes. So you're so you're Mando is what you're telling me. Yeah, so we all know that uh, you will have a new series. On That's right. Exactly. So soon. Uh, so they're missing me though. They are absolutely missing you guys, and they are running up uh, behind you. Can I just uh, yell you back? You guys are running away. Can't um, even hit me with a kid. Come on. So outside the ship, you're moving the ship around, and you see that the um, you see the star destroyer is kind of pulled itself out of the ship and it's 
Ruined. And the avatar of Dave Filoni is kind of chasing them a little bit, being like, right. contract! That's no, right. I could have signed exactly. a contract, please! That's right. As you're running away, you're like, no, I'm going to make my own. Um, <laughs> but outside the ship, you see the Star Destroyer, which the front end of it is just ruined. It is destroyed, but it's pulled itself out of this facility. Um, as your little ship, your little uh, your yacht, as uh, moving around to try to find some place to pick them up. Um, debris flying past you uh, beyond the event horizon into the black hole beyond the facility. You right. see uh, TIE fighters moving up uh, to engage you. Um, anything you would like to do inside this uh, little ship? I mean, I guess I, I'm gonna take control of the wheel well, from Grady. No, you, uh, well, this is, uh, no, this oh, is- Oh, and uh, then we're still uh, on the big ship. We're on yep, you guys are still on the big ship. Oh, okay. Ooh. So. Uh, what would you like to do? In the distance, they're not on top of you yet. However, they are coming. Wait, so um, Brevo just went back to Brevo's cargo ship. No, 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 we're uh, still... No. no, 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 no. This is, this is uh, RUG-8 outside the ship, inside yeah. the, uh, the one right now, um, dealing with uh, some TIE fighters that are starting to uh, move towards the ship. So what is RUG-8 doing? There we go. Um, I'm contacting Brevo and, and trying to get um, Brevo's coordinates so that I can pick pick the rogue up. Okay. okay. Um, I send the coordinates? Yeah, yeah. You like, you guys have some type of Star Wars-y GPS that, you know, <laughs> that says meet <laughs> me here, you know, at this airlock at, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so you get the coordinates. Is that where you're going? Okay, so you're moving the ship around. Give me, do you have any piloting? Let's look at your character sheet. All right, I have piloting. I also, I also want to use my radar sense so that, you know, I'm not ambushed or anything like that on the way over. Is that possible? You know what? Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. So give me a coordination roll plus your piloting and then add two dice for your radar sense because basically you're... Uh, uh, interfacing with your sensors. So basically, you will have a better reaction time to kind of move down. Uh, actually, just give me the roll and we'll, uh, we'll determine what happens. Okay. Wow, nothing. Okay, so would you like to spend hero points or I think would I... you like to let that ride? Uh, hero points would just give me one for a die to roll. Right, One or... die per hero point, and you can spend up to three. And those are all wild dice. So they could mm. explode. Yes. You know what? I'll use all three. Awesome. <laughs> so roll three more dice. They are all wild dice, but they roll six. Wow. Grady goes big or goes home. That's right. That's what <laughs> I like. Grady, Grady goes six. big or none of us go home, I think well, is what you mean to say. Two sixes? Oh, they both explode. Well, yes. Well, four successes. Four successes. What? Well, this is what happens. Um, Grady, uh, you dig a little bit deeper. You know you can do better. And the TIE Fighters are starting to move in on your last known location, which was the hangar bay, but you're moving the ship up and you dive close to like uh, this huge Gothic facility and you like are skimming like the, the outer hull of this ship, flying so close that they can't even see you. They just basically see the rest of the ship. You're, uh, and uh, you definitely move around like pylons and stuff, as you know, you're uh, maneuvering the ship, trying to get to your location. Uh, so you get there. Um, and that's uh, where you're at. You guys are running that way. Um, uh, you that's know maybe me. <laughs> well, you are, but it, you are running in uh, a more circuitous way toward uh, uh, them, um, which means um, all of yous inside the ship are gonna have to give me a physique plus athletics role. Okay. You're going to need five successes for this role. What do, I have enhanced move as a power. What is that? Um, you know, like in the movies, when you see the Jedi just zip away, you can do that. When cool. you, you see them. Go ahead. Oh, uh, you guys need to give me a physique plus um, a physique plus, uh, uh, what did I say? Your um, athletics. So physique plus athletics role, and you're going to need five successes. So if I don't have even five <laughs> dice, I need to 
However, you got I guess. Yeah, oh, you, need, you need to explode. Wait, oh, where the heck is athletic? So you may not have it. I don't. I don't <laughs> have it. Oh, Nobody has it. I Give have it. Thank goodness. Rolls. Okay. So roll the dice, and then we'll tell you how you can mitigate your abject <laughs> failure here. And is this is this is trying to avoid being shot. No. Oh, okay. This is something yeah. else. So I just wish I'd roll you. Well, I'm ready with my. Physique. You're ready with what? My oh. physique? Okay, what'd you get? Oh, three. And you need uh, five. Oh, I'm being Please mesmerized. Five. One. Okay. So, oh, and would anyone me. like to spend any hero points? A hero points is you can roll two di a dice per hero point, right? Yep. And you can spend up to three. And those explode. Is something going to go super bad if we fail this? Not super bad. I mean, you know, not great. Yeah, it's not going to make your family stop loving you, nor will it mean you will lose your job. You know, I'm more I, at this point worried I'm going to lose a limb. In all honesty, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to use all three of my hero points. Thanks. I'm going to use two of my hero points so I can see if I can get to these five. Well, and that really blows. Do oh, I need hero points since I did well? I you didn't get did five successes. Five. You still five have to get five successes, go go. Ah, shoot. All right. Okay, I got it using my hero points. I did not. <sighs> okay. Fine. I have two hero points left. Okay. So I get to reroll those sixes if I do the hero absolutely. points? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So right now I have two. Okay. Uh oh. I think I did it wrong. Now I'm I still fine. only get three. Okay. No, that's good. Seriously, you got totally it. fine. I think you're wrong. <laughs> okay, so let's start with Jex. Jex got two. You needed five. This is what happens. As you guys are running, um, uh, uh, something happens inside the ship. K-10 gives up the ghost. So as you guys are running down this hallway toward whatever airlock or facility you guys are going toward, you guys hear this loud explosion. And you guys are moving one way and then start moving back toward the vacuum of space uh, that is created oh. by the uh, Nova Burst. <laughs> However, you guys don't fly into the void, um, but you guys do get battered around. Now, for every success you didn't get, you take five points of damage. Great, so 15 points of damage. 15 points of damage uh, Jex Reboot takes. Um, what about uh, 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 Prince uh, Addis? How many successes? Um, uh, well, I, I don't know. I just put them up there. Um, so for the first one, I had, I think I had four, and then you wanted us to roll two more? Okay. How many successes did you get? Or did you get five at least? I got, no, I got five. I got oh, a four. Then yeah, then you're fine. You managed to hold on to something <laughs> oh, and fine. get back. Uh, Bea? How many did you get? I got five. You got five? Okay, so you managed to steady yourself. You look way cooler than anyone else because you're a Jedi. So, you know. <laughs> and what about Brevo? So I got three, so it's minus 10 points. 10 points of damage. Where is, are my hit points? It's are they? SP. Is it next to the power level? Uh, SP. Yeah, it's SP. Oh, at the SP. Bottom. Oh, I see it. 32, so 22. Okay, sorry. Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, no where, problem. Uh, remind us, where is that SP? Because it's, it's under at derived at attributes. attributes. Yes. Oh, my. I should have made it depraved attributes. <laughs> oh, oh, I see it. Yeah. But you don't take any damage because you, you managed to make it. I know. So, boom! <laughs> and everyone gets tumbled back. Um, Someone roll uh, three dice for me. Uh, who wants to roll this? Actually, let's let uh, 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 Emmanuel roll it for me. All right. Please, three dice. One will be the uh, wild die. Okay. Does that you know about the successes? Yes. Okay. None. Okay. Degaris, the maker. Ah! Into uh, the see you later, Tubi. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I don't know if it's, an, it's an immediate death, right? Because there's no it's, air. It's not immediate. So he, but he says, what? don't worry about me. I Wait, probably it. deserved it. <laughs> I mean, like, how much do we trust anyone who refers to themselves as the anything? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm 
was just saying, <laughs> like, if I was walking around like, I'm Brevo the smuggler, you guys would be like, <laughs> yuck. <laughs> well, that was probably his title in the union. So he's letting people know he worked for that title. So you know what? He's using it. <laughs> but uh, look where but no. it got him. Uh, he goes away. Um, and you hear, um, you can kind of feel like a little sinking in the chest of the little girl. And <gasps> she just goes, uh, like that. Just kind of like, um, and just kind of buries her head into your shoulder. Um, Brevo's shoulder. Yes, Brevo's shoulder, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm not upset about this. I think it's adorable. That's right. Now, you guys see uh, 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 R9, little appendage comes out. It has a little like um, uh, uh, glass bottle and pours a little like of the liquid out onto the floor as uh, they are running uh, and uh, keeps on trucking. And doesn't have to make the roll because he is magnetically locked to the ground as he is zooming by. Um, so um, you guys managed to make it to the airlock. You guys see outside the one is moving up to the airlock and you guys see there is a, um, the airlock is cycling and it has these like little like, you know, from red to green as it's cycling, you know, red, you know, uh, you know, to orange, to yellow, to green, as it's starting to cycle, um, as you guys are sitting there waiting, what is everyone doing? Uh, I'm pretty sure my mustache got knocked askew during right. my near death experience. So I'm gonna pull out my mustache wax. Right and try and salvage what I can. <laughs> okay. You are uh, grooming this luxurious mustache. This, uh, uh, and um, yeah, the lights are flickering because this place is, you know, just had a, a bomb go off inside of it. Um, and down the hallway from which you like appeared from, you guys see these two red uh, snaky things in the darkness, glowy red snaky things coming from like a uh, waist height as this woman walks out of the dark is holding these two whips. And these whips have this oh. like uh, red energy uh, uh, coursing through them. It's kind of crackling like electricity as she walks uh, towards you. And she says in a whisper, because she's cool and that's how she talks, she says, give me that and I will allow you to leave. Um, I am very attracted to her just because of her confidence. <laughs> and I have this like soul cannon on my arm. You do. And I think that my ego is such that it's going to take a lot of these to even like make a dent. <laughs> okay. So I'd like to roll those dice and. <laughs> okay. And, so you, um, you, you would like to. Hmm. You would like to attack her? No, I didn't say that. You're, just, <laughs> you're showing it off? Yeah, well, that's not what yeah she's exactly. Doing. Look, she's got whips. I've got whatever this is. That's right. You do. It's cool looking. Yeah, it yeah, it is. Um, so I'm going to do that and go. See, who's in the front? Well, it's, I'm not sure now. Uh, but yes, she is definitely, uh, she is pointing at the girl. And Brevo's holding the child. Yes. Okay, so wherever Brevo is, I'm just kind of standing, just, I'm not trying to like get in front of you. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm just like, hi, come for us. I could shoot you. You've got That's gimmicks. Right. I've got gimmicks. Right. <laughs> yeah. You see the rest of her gimmicks as the other stormtroopers from behind her come up. Um, Great. So. Oh, I'm going to draw my time, pistol I'm... while we're here. I'm going to. what? I'm gonna draw my pistol while we're here. Yeah, I'm gonna activate my lightsaber. Um, okay. What color I'm gonna is your try lightsaber to figure out how to get out the door. What color is my lightsaber? Yes. Purple. Oh, you're 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 going mace, eh? I I I would have I I like, would have. It's like the same colors as this, but it's just not really helpful. It's like this. It's like a galaxy colors where those those dusty blues and stuff. But we can't have right. both color light tables, so we're just gonna go with purple. Right. Purple's pretty. I support. Uh, Ribbo. <laughs> we all support. The little girl says, "It's okay. 
I don't want you to be hurt. And she's trying to get out of your grasp. She's there, hold on. Do you have special powers? No, just <laughs> cuteness. Got it, got it. I can't just leave you here, goodness gracious. Can you help me figure out how to get out of this door? <laughs> Use nice language. It'll be okay. I have a question. Door, will you please open? That's right. The shot. Door is evil. I hate opening, <laughs> says the door. No, what is that, uh, Ibea? Um, is it how many stormtroopers? Were any of them sucked out into the void? Quite a few stormtroopers were sucked out into the void. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> Lots. Great. Um, That's what I want to know if the numbers are down at all. <laughs> no, no, they're definitely down. There's Fantastic. not as many here. However, all of you there, roll your uh, your perception plus your intuition if you have it. And let's uh, get an initiative order as we, uh, oh, as you guys are leaving. Perception, intuition? Uh-huh. Perfect. As I draw my lightsaber, can I step in front of Brevo? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Perception and intuition is ooh, yay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no, it doesn't count. Shoot. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. Hold on. I had an exploded. Well, it's exploding. All right, so that's. Awesome. I was okay. like, did I cheat? No, I definitely did have six dice. <laughs> Five. And for the prince, three. It's a solid three. Okay. And I rolled terribly. So on five, what is Ibea doing? Um, Ibea is going to um, just kind of stand at a stance that if I need to guard the child and Brevo, obviously, then I, I would need to do that. So they're going to have to come through me to get to that child. And hopefully we can, the ship, we can get behind us and get out to the ship. But okay, so you're, you're to... purely defensive right now. Yes. Okay, cool. Jax and Brivo, what are you two doing? Uh, I'm going to start firing at stormtroopers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just uh, shooting. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. How do I do that? Oh, what, what's my attribute for that? It would be coordination plus okay. range fighting and add those together. And if your weapon gives you any type of accuracy bonus, which I don't think it does. It doesn't. So yes, roll away. All right, I got four uh, successes. Four successes. This is uh, uh, really important. You only need one success to hit them. So any additional success counts as damage. So you've got three additional points of damage on top of the 10 points that you're doing. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that and we'll take into account uh, their armor. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you're shooting pew, 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 pew. Um, and what about Brivo? Or better yet, would Jex like to shoot again and take an additional action at a minus two dice? I mean, yeah, why not? Yeah, go for it. This is America. We can do whatever we want. I got a gun and I'm going to shoot it. This is space. Yeah, that is definitely America. <laughs> <laughs> oh geez okay all right two two out of four two? okay so this time you do one additional point of damage okay okay would you like to take another shot i'm good for now okay pew, pew, pew. you're shooting uh bribo that's the way the guns sound in my head by the way uh, <laughs> obviously I'm going to try to use my knowledge and my technical skills to try to figure out how to open the hangar so that we can get out to Grady. Okay, go for it. You're trying to open this thing faster. Three. You're going to need four successes. Dang. Um, and I don't I'm have doing any more so, roll one additional wild die. Oh, okay. Wow. Cool. So that would make one more success, so four. Four successes. Okay. What happens is, Ooh. is the little girl puts her hands on your shoulder as you're, you know, down there, and she's like, you can do it. And you kind of feel this wailing up inside you that, oh, I think I can do it. And you're doing it, and the door starts to cycle open. Now, the vacuum outside is not quite out. You know, it's not like you're open to the vacuum. Uh, the ship is hooked up to one side, and, you know, there's a little room in between. Mm -hmm. So there's this little suction of, like, as the air is being pulled in, which, you know, kind of rushes past you guys. So that's what you're doing. Um, Prince, 
Uh, Addis, what are you doing? Or better yet, did Brevo want to do anything else? Oh, no. Okay, no, so no. <laughs> uh, Prince Addis, what are you doing? Um, I do, um, I would like to ask if I have the capacity to dual wield, dual wield because I do have my elegant pistol. You do have an, yes, it's, in this game system, it's basically just an additional action. Right, and I also have this great new wham, soul That's right. what, what color is it, by the way? Purple. It is purple. Does it have any accent colors? Gold. Ooh, purple and gold, okay. Just like my dear droid who we left down yep. on whatever filth planet we came from. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Okay, so you've got this elegant uh, purple and gold. Is it metallic? Is it got like, you know, like a, a shiny metallic car finish? It, no, a car finish? Yeah, you know, like <laughs> that shiny no. kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> it has a finish and it's shiny in a way that terrestrial beings cannot imagine. Oh my goodness. Wow. So, so it is. Oh, uh, it's ugly. It's duo, it's duo chrome. Oh, sorry. Wait. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Did that just happen? <laughs> Did uh, I push your buttons a little, my love? Nom, nom, nom. Try <laughs> <laughs> the sensors. Okay. Anyway, yes, I have my elegant pistol. And I have this wacky, happy soul weapon. So I'd like to kick some ass, if I may. Absolutely. Okay. Who, whose ass are you kicking? Some stormtroopers? Oh, what about that, like, one who's trying to, like, updo my luck? Oh, man, you want some of that? Yeah. She says, bring the heat. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell her I'll bring the ice. Okay, she's ready. So, right. hold yeah. on, let me see what you need to hit her. Because she is not a stormtrooper. She is, she's a little bit, um, you're going to need a... Uh, Three successes. So which which weapon is this that's shooting? Okay, I might regret this heartily. And if I die, y'all, put on my clothes and wear me about town, okay? <laughs> Obviously, it's a smuggler. <laughs> a smuggler and a gambler, we're definitely taking your stuff after you're gone. That's right. In fact, it's uh, probably okay, happening now, as you're um, doing Can this. I change my directive and class of the <laughs> Okay, I, I'm sorry. I've decided I want to go after the stormtroopers. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, which are you shooting first? Your elegant uh, bioweapon or your... Bioweapon plus. Okay, go for it. You need one success. So, roll your coordination plus fighting. Or ranged fighting, excuse me. Whatever that may be. All right. Well, um, coordination is three. And I got three out of three. Yes. Awesome. Wow. Okay. Yeah. A four, five, and a four. So that's hot. Um, and then my ranged. Two the more. Range fighting is two dice. All right. I can do that. I'm not sure. Okay. That's fine. And of that, I get a one. I got one four and one one. So four total. Yep. So four total. So you did. Uh, and this is the, uh, the, the bio weapon. Now, here's what the bioweapon will allow you to do, if you so choose to do, uh, to do it. You All can right. spend your own hit points to enhance the damage. It's going to do 10 points of damage. Ooh. And then let's say, for instance, you wanted to use up, sacrifice five uh, hit points. It will do an additional five points of damage. That's so nice, but these are stormtroopers, so I'm sure. going to say a hot no. Okay, so you, do, you did four, so you do three additional points on top of uh, the 10 points. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so. to the like diaper babies. And oh, like, bad. Oh, I know. And then you see one of them looks and says, uh, uh, Phil, did you say anything? He's like, I didn't say anything, I swear, when you said diaper babies. But uh, it's like, I just like to be pampered. But um, are you shooting the uh, elegant pistol? I am as well. I'm going to do a wield and I'll okay. happily shoot one. From the elegant pistol. So, so tell instead me... of five dice, you're going to roll okay. three dice. All right. So we're going to do three dice for that. And all right, we got a three, a four, and a five. Okay, so two successes. Okay. 
So you shoot that, and how much damage does that little gun do? Because yours is not... Okay, cool. I think it does seven? Yep, it does seven points. You are absolutely correct. So, and the way that uh, the mooks are run, the stormtroopers as a group are a single entity. And that's what makes them, uh, when they attack, makes them dangerous because they attack as a single entity, even though they can attack all of you. But when they do damage, their damage is enhanced by their numbers. So a single stormtrooper, no big deal. A group of stormtroopers could get a little bit dangerous, but they take damage as one entity as well. So if you were just fighting one stormtrooper, he would just have like uh, 10 stress points plus whatever his armor takes off. As a group, they may have up to like 50 or 60, um, but you know, all of you guys are shooting at this mass of stormtroopers. Um, so let me uh, tally up so far how much damage you guys have done. Uh, mm -hmm. We're gonna let the uh, stormtroopers murder back. Um, right, uh-oh. Yes. So you guys have been blasting the stormtroopers. Stormtroopers are falling out. Ah! Ah! And it was great. Shoot. I loved it. Then they shoot back. Okay, let's start with uh, Brivo. <laughs> okay, Brivo, you Brivo. are hit for ten points of damage. If I'm in front of them, does that give them oh. any kind of? Absolutely. Yeah. You can you can do a parry. Okay. How so I... basically you need to give me, you need three successes because you have to beat what they rolled. Three successes to parry it uh, with their lightsaber. Um, and actually, I'm not sure if we put this on your character sheet. Like, uh, let's see, did I put it all on your character sheet? I blah, do blah, have blah, a blah. lightsaber at the bottom under equipment, but I'm not sure what it means besides yes. EDV. So basically roll your uh, fighting plus your reflexes. So reflexes. Add two additional dice. Oh dear God. Okay, add those two. <laughs> what is reflexes? Wait. Re ah, fighting buses. There's another three. Oof. No, you should have four dice plus two plus your fighting, which is three. So seven three. dice plus two plus the two additional dice because of the lightsaber. So you'll have nine dice plus two. Nothing much. You know, just 11 I, dice. We have 11 <laughs> dice. How many successes do I need? Well, it's not 11 dice. It should be your fighting, so that's seven. You should have nine dice plus two. Plus oh, two plus nine seven. dice plus two pips. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And how many successes do I need? You need three successes. You can do it. You can totally do it. Absolutely. I got six. six yeah! successes. Okay, so you can block that, and uh, you rolled high enough that you can actually deflect it black, uh, back, not black, uh, that would be a hate crime, but uh, back at uh, whoever delivered the shot to you. So you, uh, you know, you're playing. Um, now, take off two dice, so instead of nine dice, now it's seven dice, because they're shooting at you if you would like to parry this as well. Yes. Oh, hold on. Okay, so three dice, so three difficulty again. Oh. <gasps> oh, four, but my wild dice was a one, so three. Okay, so exactly what you needed. So that one almost got you. As they're shooting at you, you're blocking, blocking, blocking. Um, Prince, uh, they're shooting at you. Um, would you like to evade, which would be an additional action? It would be actually your third action. If you would like to evade, or you could just take the shot in the face. In my face? That's where they like to <laughs> shoot. That's a beautiful Woo! face. A lot of yeah. money went into this phase. Um, we would like to evade, please. Okay. Now, uh, you will roll your reflexes plus your evasion. So that's six dice. minus So three dice you're going to roll. All right, where do, I, okay, hold on. I don't see evasion in my list here. Yeah, if you skills. don't have it in skills, yep, it'll be it under skills, skills if you have it. Yep. I see it, I see it, I see it. Evasion first. Well, just roll that, don't roll anything else because you've only got three dice to do this because this is your third action. So, how many successes you get? Wait, out of evasion? Mm-hmm. 
Well, because it's your third action. So one. shot twice. Yes. One. So one. So your uh, passive defense goes up to two. So they still hit you. You managed. You tried to dodge, and then uh, they shot you. So da -da -da -da, that is ten points of damage you take. That's a lot for mooks. That is a lot for a group of mooks. <laughs> But basically, their guns do 10 points of damage. What happens is the lethalness comes from their ability to attack you. So, I'm very embarrassed of what just happened right now. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you got to take it in stride. Yeah. Um, no, I don't. No, no stride? What about <laughs> no. Jax? Is Jax going to uh, just take it? Or uh, so evading for me is only four dice, and it would be my third action. So I would only get to roll one dice, right? You would get to roll one, you got, uh, yeah, you've got four dice, you can roll one die. Yes. Jolly! Which means I can't actually avoid it, right? Well, unless you, you roll, can. is it a wild die? Because it would have to explode, yep. right? The wild die would have to explode. However, you are a slippery scoundrel. I would like to be slippery. I would like to not roll my <laughs> dice and use my action. I would just like to be slippery, thank you. Well, you would be able to roll three additional dice. So you'd roll that one die okay. plus those three additional dice. Okay, yeah, all and right, I'll take those dice. odds. Okay, and this would be your Why second- Why didn't I get to this. sneak? Because that's my <laughs> special ability. Because <laughs> you don't have that one. <laughs> I that's actually right. do, but things. Ooh, well, hold ooh, on. ooh, hold on. Three and rolling. Oh, and rolling again. Yes. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I know. So Six successes. OK, so yes. basically, Yay. you stand behind a bulkhead as they start you shoot <laughs> and then stood behind, and then like all this blaster fire to the side of you, and then you peek out again. And uh, all they see is this gleaming mustache. <laughs> and they're all blinded. Um, so everyone went except the lady Great. who moves out and tries to hit the Jedi, because that's what they do. They're drawn to Jedi. It's like Highlanders. They want to chop off your head, especially uh, other Force users. So she is going to attack. Mm -hmm. And hold on. Let me get all my dice, because uh, she's got lots. She's a heavy hitter. Should she I have is. been adding evasion in my stuff earlier? Nope. Okay. It's, uh, you're using your fighting to actually Attack their attack. It's essentially okay. what a parry is. Gr awesome. One, two, three, four. And then, okay. I'm going to roll these 10 dice and uh, we'll fail. see what happens. You fail. All ones. They're terrible. Okay. You can attempt to parry that one. That is a five difficulty to parry. And for that, I'm rolling 20 <laughs> You would roll, you've already parried twice. Yeah. So you're going to be down. So you, you wouldn't, instead of having nine dice, da -da 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 -da. yeah, you might be able to do it with six dice plus two. You might be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Got it? I still have hero points if I need to. Yes, you yeah. still got hero points. Oh, plus two, plus two. Okay, wait. How many do I need? You need five successes. Good. How many did you get? I got three. Well, you've also got hero points and you can spend up to five, or three, excuse me. I only have two left and I'm so scared I might need them at some point. I haven't taken Fair any enough. hit. I'm gonna uh, take the hit. I'm gonna okay, totally you'll take the hit. hit. Cool, yeah. so you take 15 points of damage. Okay. I'm as bad as I thought it was gonna now, be. Now, again, you can spend hero points to mitigate damage. Every hero point will negate four points of damage, so. Just in case I forgot to tell you guys that, so if you guys did want to retroactively use a hero point to negate some of the damage you've already taken, feel free to do so. I want to get hit like that again, but I'm yes. here right now. <laughs> hero point negates three points of damage. Four points. Oh, okay. I just imagine that Grady's like just sitting in the ha like in that ship waiting for us. He's just listening to like he's going to go. So for, like wanna, an audio book. <laughs> that's right. Did, did we want to? So we went through one round of uh, of combat where um, Abaya managed to basically uh, parry and block laser fire coming in at her, plus Brevo and the little girl, but didn't manage to stop uh, the dark lady uh, Sahira. Uh, 
with her like energy whips as she basically wrapped it around your arm, pulled it back, and as she it, when it wrapped and she snatches back, it just basically peels skin. And she, you know, as you're like holding your lightsaber, and then you just see like, you know, it just rips like your clothes. Um, I already uh, have blast scarred arms and legs. Oh. Can I, it's part of my description. Can we just make like more scars inside of that? Like make well, that, that's what it looks like. Since you mentioned disadvantages, you can activate that disadvantage right now and make it evident to the entire group since you brought it up. And what uh, what is the number next to it? It should have dots or a number. One, you get a hero yeah. point back for that because you activated a disadvantage. So it pulls it back and you realize that your horribly uh, scarred arms are even more uh, 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 scarred now because of this uh, Sith and her like uh, whips. Um, now, next round, they're gonna continue shooting. You guys continue to shoot or you guys can try to uh, embark upon the uh, ship waiting outside for you. So uh, let's start with Brevo and uh, Actually, no, Ibea goes first. So what is Ibea doing? Since you will control the uh, tenor of this. Uh, so that door behind us is kind of like cycling open and shut, you said, right? It, it cycled open. Uh, it was open prematurely. However, the, uh, the one connected to the spaceship, it's ready to open. So it can open now. So the door, so we can, like if we wanted to leave, we could? You could right now go into the other ship if you wanted to and leave all these people behind. I don't want to do that at all. I want to make sure they can do that. Okay. So I am going to make probably a not bright choice, but here we are. <laughs> I would like to full on run at the hot lady with the whips what? and attack. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. So you take off straight at her. Um, do you use your enhanced movement? Yeah, so okay, I'm hoping effect. I can add my enhanced move and like cosmic awareness, everything to do something really cool and come down and like <laughs> cut off and off and leave a whip in two. I don't you know. Turn on the faucets cool. of awesome. Yes. <laughs> Full force. I know. Uh, I'm getting wet and getting hosed down with this faucet of awesome. Okay. That is what you were doing. So you guys see Ibea just, uh, just, just, she just, she goes ham on this person. Okay. So tell you what, let's see what your powers are. We got, we got a little bit of this, we got a little bit of that. Okay. Tell you what we'll do. Give me your fighting plus reflex roll. Um, um, specialization in one level of lightsaber. Does that mean, does it make my fighting four dice then instead of three? Nope. What it does okay. is it adds one success. So you've automatically got one success nice. because you have that. And the um, so fighting plus what else? Fighting plus reflexes, so plus you should have four plus two. Okay, so that's seven that's dice seven. so far. Mm -hmm. Add in your enhanced movement. Add in two dice for that. All right, that's nine. And go okay. ahead and roll, and you need at least three successes to hit her. I want to hit her a lot, so I'm hoping. Yes, get all the successes. Yes, come on, guys. Uh huh. Ooh, okay. Ooh, is a good sound. I know, huh? I like it. I got five successes. Five successes. That's good. That's really good. Would you like to add some stink on that with your hero points? I sure would. I sure would. Um, How many would you like to add? I would like to add two. Two? That will add an additional eight points of damage to whatever you're getting ready to do. Okay. Now, normally you do 10 points. You got five successes, right? Mm -hmm. so, so that's an additional two points that you do for 12 points. And okay. then you added two hero points on for an additional eight points. That's 20 points of damage uh, okay. that you've done so far. Uh, anything else you want to throw on there? <laughs> that's or? a lot. Um, <laughs> um, I like it. However, yes. she has armor. But wait, lightsabers disregard armor. So <laughs> you just cut uh, right into her. Can I, is there anything else I can add to this to make it even uh, You got any more hero points? I have one more hero point and I also have two more uses of one with the force. Uh, you can add that. Uh, one with the force, one with the force. The one with save the that force. hero point. Yeah, save the hero point. Yeah, uh, can I do the one with, it, would that add the three dice if I use the one with the force? Yeah. I'm gonna do that. So roll three more dice, you're at 20 points right now of damage. Oh, two sixes. Roll Ooh. those again. Oh, they, oh, yeah, they're wild. Oh, I forgot about that. 
Oh no, those, those, those are your. Um, sorry, those were your. Oh, those are just. Okay, okay yeah. so that's just two sixes. So that is twenty-two points of damage you've done. Woohoo! Wow. You get any armor? Okay. So anything else you would like to do? You did one attack. You blasted toward her and cut. Did you do the uh, samurai thing where you're behind her now? Uh, um, Voltron style? Actually, I think I, I took like three steps forward and just jumped straight into the air. Right. And came down and flipped and sliced. And then my oh. next action, I want to just jump back to the group and be back as a, in a defensive position again. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll say that for later. But yes, so that's what you've done. You've uh, yeah. basically sliced her. By the way, you've uh, cut her hit points in half. She had 40. Now she's down to uh, 38. But, Man, I want to hit her again. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Two Wait, you said she's, she's down to 18. She's down to, if Listen, I got it. There are two things I really dislike. Uh, people who correct me and bad math. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, that's a wash, and yeah. she has 18 hit points. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, 18 <laughs> hit points. No. But yes, sure. you basically uh, did 22 points to her, and yeah, she reels from it. Like, she's waving Well done, Jedi. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So Thank yeah, you. That, that was kind of a move. I don't know if you guys remember the video game Strider. But Strider oh, yeah. Stuff like yeah. that, where like they would jump at you and attack and then go back into the defensive pose. But yes, you do that. And the Stormtroopers are like, whoa! Get out of here. Back off, Mike. There's a uh, Jedi, says one of the uh, stormtroopers. That was on five. Uh, Brivo and Jex, what are you two doing? What are you doing, Brivo? You got the uh, kid. Yeah, I, don't I need to try to get the kid onto the ship? I don't, I don't know. Yes. Do yeah, you? I'm going to. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of here. Um, so I'm going to try to. I mean, we're not going to leave everybody, but we're going to try to get into the. Okay. Where Grady is. Okay. So yeah, you, um, you get you get her in, and then what? Um. So I put her on the ship. Welcome back, Brevo. Hi. Um. Watch There's this child. Huh? <laughs> That's what the kid says. There's a robot. <laughs> He's safe. Um. Stay right here, and then I'm gonna lean back out of the ship and try to like shoot people with my blaster pistol. Okay. Oh. Oh no! I can't I'm just not, leave y'all here. I'm not programmed for babysitting. Hmm. I will. I will do my best. I'm sure they're I'm like a, a baby. Uh, I'm a little girl. <laughs> okay. So, is it ranged fighting? Plus coordination. Oh, it's coordination only. Uh, Plus and range, and fighting. range fighting. Yes. Coordination and range fighting. Okay, so it's five dice for coordination, three dice for range fighting. All right. Ooh, that's a lot of dice. Okay. Is it? <laughs> it's one, two, three, four. Four? Okay. And how, what's the BDB on your weapon? Ten. Okay. So you, they, you needed to, uh, one to hit them, but you got four, so that's three additional successes. So that's uh, 13 points of damage minus their armor. Blah, 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 da, 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 Okay. So yes, you guys are, you're shooting pew, pew. And oh, you see Philip, the stormtrooper. He kind of like uh, falls over uh, dead. Uh, would you like to take another attack or are you good with that? Um, it, so I would do the same thing, but I would just would have less, two less yep. dice, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, then I guess I'll shoot him again. Pew, pew, pew. Five. I just rolled it. I don't know why I put them away. <laughs> Seven, eight. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I did oh. my own rules wrong, One, but that's okay. Three, four, five, minus one, four. Okay. So. Oh, I rolled too many dice. I'm sorry. Never mind. I rolled too many dice because I forgot I had to roll two less, right? Okay. Sorry, I messed up. I cheated. Hit. It was not intentional. <laughs> <laughs> it was not intentional cheating. Um, okay, so I was just supposed to roll this many. Got it. Oh, still four. Yay. <laughs> okay, awesome. So that is 10 plus an additional three. Okay. All right, you guys are sitting here cooking with fire. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh, oh my. Okay, 
Yes, you guys have uh, basically put down quite a few stormtroopers so far. They're still uh, active, but you guys have managed to take some out. Um, what is Jex doing? Um, since the stormtroopers seem to be moderately under control, I'm going to actually shoot at uh, our Sith friend. Oh, come on. Uh, so that's coordination and ranged fighting, yeah? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, and remind me again how, like, what activating a disadvantage does? Um, basically, you, when you activate a disadvantage, uh, you get hero points for it. Okay. Um, however, if I activate it, you have to pay me hero points for it. So let's say, gotcha. for instance, uh, with your little, I think your character has something like you just look. Dangerous. I look shady. Yeah. So let's say I activated it in a situation and you didn't want it activated. You would pay me uh, one hero point for that one because yeah. it's a one point. Um, but once you activate it, it becomes part of the story. So let's say, for instance, Wanted by the Huts. Uh -huh. uh, uh, somehow we are going to shoehorn in these huts into the adventure. Uh, it might not be immediate, but it will happen in the adventure. Yeah. And also it will penalize you. Like for instance, you might be in a social situation. They'll be like, I can't deal with you because you're wanted by the huts, mm -hmm. but you absolutely uh, have the right to activate any of these things. So, okay. you know, you could uh, activate the attracted uh, to trouble, meaning you're not leaving until like it's all over and you're going after, but you know, conversely, the uh, the trouble will be attracted to you. Yeah, uh, is what will happen. So, okay. any disadvantage you want to activate? Um, I'm gonna roll first on this one because I've still got a decent number of hero points left. But we may be activating something soon. You need three successes to. So um, I got three successes, and I'm actually gonna burn um, three hero points to okay. roll some more. Well, not necessarily, because you needed three to uh, actually hit. So if you wanted okay. to, you could spend those hero points to do additional damage. That's what I meant. Okay. So how much damage do you do normally? 10? 10 with the pistol. And I've already got the three. And now I've got no more additional successes. Okay. So, so three then. Okay, so you hit and you do 10 points of damage. Mm -hmm. um, uh, any, uh, would you like to add some stank onto that one using uh, uh, your hero points? That's what I just did. I, ah. I, I used my stank and I got no stank. Oh no, you can use it, but don't use it for the roll. You just use it to add damage after the roll. Oh, great. Then, and then uh, yes, three hero points, please. Okay, so that's 12 additional points. So that's 22 points. Yay! She did. Yeah. It does not, well, it would, but she wants to spend hero points as well to try to mitigate some of that damage to her. To not die is right. what you're telling me. Right. But Why does she have you, hero points? She's not a hero. She's, she's a villain. villain. She, she stole them from a hero. <laughs> Everybody's a hero with their own story. <laughs> oh, wait. That's, right. that's, that's fair. Hero? Wait, yeah. it's an anti-hero point. Like, link, link, whip, whips? <laughs> yeah. She, uh, she punched like a fireman in his bread basket till he copped up some hero points, and then she's going to use them against the good. Um, mm -hmm. But Great. no, you do like hit her. And she does kind of like stagger back, um, but she's trying to block them with her whips. Okay. Um, uh, so yes, you did damage, but um, she's still standing by just force of will alone. Um, so Can I hit her again? Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, she's like, you know, trying to like fight off all these people shooting uh -huh. uh, lasers and stuff at her. So, so I uh, lose two dice for this roll? Lose two dice. Okay. Please. And um, I'm feeling attracted to trouble at this particular moment in my life. Okay. That's going to be good for you. Okay. So I got three successes off my initial roll, and now do I roll three more? If you would like to use, if you've got three successes, that's all you need to hit her. So that'll hit her for 10 more points? Yep. I'm, I'm really feeling attracted to trouble. So, so what happens then? Would you like to use those three hero points that you would get from that? Uh-huh. All your hero points? No. Oh! Okay. I'm still so quite rich in hero points, as a matter of fact, oh, considering nah. where we are in the adventure. Okay. So, give me a moment. Let me uh, tally up how much damage she has taken. That's and she's taken quite a bit Jets. of damage. <laughs> and then Brady, how's it going with the And her light whips. We steal it all. Oh yeah. 
I like, so guys, I like shiny you, things. You guys are getting ready to try to gray hawk the body. So as she's being hit and knocked back, you see people like coming out of the woodwork, licking their lips, trying to, uh, I'm going to steal her stuff. Wait, no, like um, this though? Like this? Like, just like that. <laughs> all right. Yes, she uh, falls to one knee. She okay. falls to one knee. She is smoking. Uh, okay. She falls to one knee. She's on one knee. She's got her hand down. She actually lets go of one of the whips because she's trying to steady herself. Um, can I grab it? Uh, can I hit her one more time? <laughs> yes, well, I know. Can. Absolutely. So I roll, yeah. at this point, I'll just roll two dice, right? Um, well, I just read the rules and I've been doing it wrong, which I apologize. Um, it's two dice, four dice, six dice, and then eight dice. So it's actually a lot worse. I apologize. Um, but we will go with what we've been doing so far. Okay. Um, and, you know, next game we play, we'll do it some other way, uh, the right way. <laughs> but anyway, also, uh, go the one I, I would just like to, um, again, clarify to our watchers, the one who's wrong, our GM, he did write this. Yes. <laughs> so, so you can rewrite is it really it. wrong or is it just an addendum to the game? Uh, yes. It, well, you know what it is? It's me being uh, scatterbrained and not as prepared. So, uh, he's, oh. he, you know what he's doing? He's just like, he's, he's ad libbing right now. It, it's like tabletop game. world, we call this house rules. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Remember that Jerry Grayson of Kepper Publishing wrote the game that that's we're right. playing. So when he's like, oops, I messed up, we're just like, that's okay, I'm, baby. That's right. So you're going to try to murder this woman? I'm trying. I'm Take going for the murder. Out. Take her out. Oh, no, I don't make it. That's okay. two failures. <laughs> she is on the ground. She uh, uh, is trying to catch her breath. That was on da -da -da -da, blah, 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 on four. So on three, the prince. What are you doing, prince? Get in there. I, I want that light whip. And oh, I no. Do... Huh? The arm says, let's go get it. What are we doing? We're dual wielding, and we're going to go get one of those light whips. Let's do it. Also, I would really like to invoke right now um, wealth beyond imagining. OK, and how will you invoke this? Uh, With uh, this ring okay. that when I, it becomes a shield. Well, it won't necessarily become a shield, uh, but you might be able to blind some people. Like maybe we can use it to blind some people. Oh, like, the people, bling, yes? yes. The uh, should I, should I have worn my uh, big bling? Sure, okay. sure, 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 sure. So yes, I would invite, I, I would like to invoke my advantage of wealth beyond imagining to give myself some kind of shield or trick of the eye with the bling that I got. Or maybe they just shoot you in your ring finger. They just blow off your uh, ring finger. They yeah, won't. do be fooled by the rocks that I got. Oh, okay. <laughs> that kind Fair of thing. Um, so tell you what, have... Before we do the, uh, the advantage, roll to see if you uh, do it, because you might not necessarily need the advantage because you might be so awesome to begin with. Okay. Tell me, how, <laughs> tell me how to do this. Well, no, just, you know, like you might not, you know, need it yet. But if it, because basically any of your advantages are hero points, you can use after the roll. So, you know. No, I'm holding on to my hero points. So right now I'm rolling 2D for ranged fighting. Uh, and whatever your coordination fighting. is. Yep, and your coordination, your COO. All right. Range fighting is a six and a two, so that's one. Yep. All right, so my coordination is a six and a four. Four and a two and a one, so that's two sets, three total. Three, and who are you attacking? The one with the whip that I want? Uh, just, you know, you might be attacking the stormtroopers. There's still some yeah, there. There's no, still no, there's Bobby no, no, and no, Chuck no. and Mike still, so you might be attacking them. No. Okay, so are you attacking or are you trying to grab her whip and abscound with it? Oh, no, she's down on one knee. She's like, oh, and I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. So right. I'm coming at her with, uh, I have this shiny bling. I have this purple gold, like piece of weaponry that I picked up on this ship. And I have my right. elegant pistol. Yes. It's all color coordinated and matches. So you were attacking her. 
and you rolled three successes, which is what you needed, and you do seven points of damage. Okay. That sounds really sad compared to everyone else doing like 22. Right. <laughs> well, they spent a ton of hero points on this. Yeah. No, I'm going to hold on to mine, but do okay. I get the whip? Do I get the whip? Uh, you can have the whip if you would like it. I'd like it. No, 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 says the arm. Allow me. And the hand reaches down and picks it up for you. I mean, you're still picking it up, but the hand does it. I'm very sad right now that I don't have one of the six light whips that um, Gogo Incognito, <laughs> the dancer, actually uses for her profession. So just right. imagine. Yeah, there's going to be uh, a lot of like broken furniture at your house as you're swinging this around and <laughs> try to use it. No, there <laughs> won't. I'm adept. <laughs> uh, well, in that case, um, are you uh, any other actions you'd like to do? I'd like to um, flounce and flourish off to the side. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> let's see. All right. Now, because someone attracts trouble, That'll the stormtroopers uh, 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 are uh, mobilized to protect uh, their uh, master. So they kind of like turtle up around her and just start blasting uh, your shiny mustache off. Great. No! Mustache is going. That is a good roll. No, that's not what I wanted to hear. So that is, uh, well, it's 12 points of damage is what it is. I'm okay. I'm You're not dead yet. <laughs> You're okay. Can, like, I, like, as my, can I, as my bonus, actually give my shiny bling and hand it to Jex? Uh, you can, but since it's an advantage, it won't... You could do it with hero points. In this game, you guys can actually go back and forth with hero points, but an advantage, that is your thing. It's, you know, you can't give them your, uh, uh, what is it? Like your willpower or your, you know, your influence skill, uh, but you can't give right, them hero yeah, points. No, that's, that's, yeah, that's under my advantages for sure. Yeah. No, yeah, you, you are wealthy, unless you are actually transferring the wealth to Jax. I could give Jex the ring. Well, you would be giving Jex wealth uh, beyond imagining is what you'd be giving them. Oh, no, no. Oh, God. <laughs> right. I mean, I'll take it. So that puts me down to uh, three stress points. That's so fine. You're, uh, you're smoking but, but hurt. Okay, that's all ways. right. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'm all right. Okay. I feel great. All right, Great. so is anyone getting into the ship? Are you guys staying? Did we set oh, up the Danny ball? Is, uh, muted. Sorry, what? we need to go. I was getting we into the ship. We need to go. We need to get on the ship. Yeah, I was oh, trying no, I'm to fine with that. Right I, I'm so ready to go. Yeah, okay. we need to go. All right, do, okay. I, do, I, do I sense everyone's in the ship? Uh, yeah, uh, you see R9 uh, is trying to like, Low key, get into the ship too. No, not you, not uh, you. Damn it, says uh, R9, and turns around and says, "All right, I got this." And uh, turns, gives you, yeah, little uh, thing comes up, little fist, boop. And, I give uh, him my flask too. Oh, takes a little drink. Or oh, actually, just kind of just pours it. Out. Yeah, guns it. <laughs> I I take off my oh. earring, and I drape it around something that he is sticking outing. Right. Okay. He, it turns and goes back into the airlock. And Wait till we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till we're gone. That's right. So everyone limps aboard the ship who's uh, 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 hurt. And uh, you guys take off. Now, um, you guys are escaping. So here we go. We're going to do an event as you guys escape from these TIE fighters, a Star Destroyer as a ship is blowing up on an event horizon of a black hole. <laughs> so, Super chill. Let's yeah, go. No big deal. Exactly. You know, as yeah. one does. <laughs> exactly. It's a normal Tuesday, what do you mean? Exactly. So, you guys are flying away. Everyone's gonna have to give me a roll. And you guys are gonna need to get six successes total on this first one. Eight on the next and 12 on the next. Great. And so, you're gonna need two success or two successes base. So what? the first are, two successes count as one. How mm -hmm. many? How many we're rolling? What are we rolling? Yeah. Well, this is the beautiful you have to thing. Choose. You guys decide what you're rolling to help mm -hmm. on this ship 
So you might be like, I'm going to pilot the ship. I'm going to do some technical stuff. I'm going to sit here and cheer people on using my influence. But you guys are all doing something to contribute to the whole of the, uh, the points. So let's start with uh, uh, RUG8. Uh, uh, since you've been sitting here patiently, what are you doing in this ship to, uh, to add to the success of uh, you guys flying away from all these TIE fighters that are swarming on your ship? Uh, uh, turbo cannons, uh, turbo lasers are flying past you from the Star Destroyers. Debris is flying past you guys, going into the uh, 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 black hole beyond you guys. And um, in the distance, you guys just see a flash of light as uh, R9 uh, unleashes his Nova Burst. Hadouken! So, are you G8? Hadouken! He said he was with the <laughs> destructive. Um, uh, <laughs> Charted our coordinates and uh, hit light speed. Okay, so what is your role on this one? All right, so let's see. Are we You're piloting? charting, of course, this round. Um, I guess it would be, well, I guess knowledge to know where to. Okay. Yep, knowledge and, and technical. Yeah. Okay, so give me a roll, and you need at least two successes. So the first two successes will count as one. Everything else is gravy. Uh, four successes. Four successes. So that is three successes right there. Okay. One for each arm. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> so what is uh, uh, Prince uh, uh, Addis Krail uh, doing to contribute to this escape? Well, one of my skills is influence. Okay. So I'd like to do that. And that's 3D6. How many successes do I need? You still need two. But add your presence plus uh, influence as you're giving some type of rousing speech, or maybe you're just browbeating them and, uh, you know, telling them like, what are you guys, dumb? No, no there's been holes in my ship. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I am here to inspire. Here to inspire. All right, well, I just got two successes and my, what else, what else was it? Uh, presence, whatever your presence is, which should be your gravy trait. I think that one's really high. Okay. Two, and the other one. Okay. So you got how many successes total? Four, that so that's four. So that's you have, your presence has a plus two pips on it, so you can add two to something. Yep. Oh, so right. well, what, what was the lowest two. die that you rolled? A two. Okay, so you can change that into a four. So you've got five successes, meaning you do first two, so an additional three, so four successes. Cool. Three, four. Okay. You guys so far have crushed the first part of this. So we're just going to add on to it and make this even more awesome. What is Brevo doing? Um, is there a second piloting chair or this ship? Or Absolutely. is there just the one that are, okay, that Grady's in. Okay, so I'm going to jump into the second piloting chair and use my piloting and coordination. Is that I how it would work? Yep. To um, like, help us navigate the light speed. But it also says that I specialize in level one light freighter. So I don't know if that adds something to this or sure. if it does not yeah, do anything. We'll let, you, we'll let you use it. We'll okay. let you use it. So you get one automatic, you get one success right there and then okay. roll your dice. Okay, so I get five for coordination and then three for piloting and I already have a success, right? Uh, yeah, hold on. What's your coordination? It says five, oh, wow. right? That's you the You do coup. have a five, indeed you do. <laughs> Got a five and coup. <laughs> uh, that's right. She's, she's so cool. I'm so cool. <laughs> okay. Really cool. Um, that's right. All right. So one, two, three, four, plus the one for the specialization. So five. So five. Okay. Mm -hmm. one, two, three, two, one. All right. Super awesome so far. Let's go to Ibea. What is Ibea doing inside the ship as you guys are running away? Um, if we are being followed by the TIE Fighter still, Ibea wants to get to wherever the gun is mm. and um, use her perception and either evasion or fighting because they're the same to kind of shoot their shots out of the air before they hit us. Why would we wow. be followed by TIE Fighters? Oh, Fire. sorry. The destroyer? The well, yeah, the destroyer. well, both. You're being followed by all of it. They've mobilized to try to get, uh, um, to get you guys. 
I'h assuming was it tie fighters or x things whatever is gonna follow us I would like to them oh, not be yeah, able to absolutely us. go for it. give me a range <laughs> fighting give me a range fighting plus uh your coordination I do not have range fighting I just have fighting uh can't use that because that's just you fist to cuffing it or using your lightsaber but that's okay you can still be awesome so just coordination and that's it by itself would yeah. this be maybe evasion um or movement you could you can uh because you can basically what would you like to use you want to use your coordination plus your movement so it's not really you shooting it's probably you doing something else maybe you're at like a a secondary station like plotting or maybe you're seeing where they're coming at so you're like yelling at the pilots to get out of the way of wherever they're coming or something yes i would like so to do however, that okay go for it roll the dice okay so that it that, that adds in my movement or is that adding my invasion i'm sorry which one is that adding uh you can add whatever you'd like we just have to basically give it a narrative of how it works so I, i'm going to be um, using my coordination and my evasion to tell them where we're where they're coming so we can avoid sure. it. Sure. Absolutely. Three so four success. I can count. Three successes. <laughs> you got three successes. Okay, so you got uh two off of that one. Okay, cool. And then what is uh uh, uh the scoundrel doing? So um I am a great performer, so I am going to get up and I am going to perform a rousing speech from a space opera that we all know and love that we talked about on the way here somehow. Um, <laughs> and, it's, and it's just going to be a big boon to everyone's confidence. You, you uh, start so that, by singing uh, uh, Don't Stop Believing by Journey or something. Uh, <laughs> kinda, kinda. Um, so... That's, ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't we get wild die on this? Absolutely. All right. So I'm at five successes. Okay. Um, and I stay at five successes. Enough, that, is, that is good. So that means you got, uh, let's see, that's uh, three plus, so that's four. One, two, yeah. three, four. Okay. You guys crushed that first round. Um, hold on, let me look at uh, what you guys, you guys needed, I believe, six successes for that first round and you guys got one two you got 15 you got 18. so let's see that is uh so yes you guys have basically crushed the second round as well and have made it into the third part of the round so uh let's see you guys needed a total of uh you guys got 18 so you're four into the last round so basically you guys have plotted your course. You guys have, uh, the second phase of this uh, event was you guys maneuvering through the asteroid fields. So you guys are maneuvering through the asteroid field and now you guys are trying to get past the gravity well because the uh, Sith facility exploded and it had this shield around it that was basically controlling the gravity of that black hole, it was harnessing it. That is all gone now. So stuff is being sucked back in at an exponential rate as you guys wow. are trying to jump to hyperspace right now. So instead of needing um, two successes, you guys need four successes to get a success now. So in this last phase, as your guys' ship is being pulled back and you guys want to make it to hyperspace, what is it that you guys are doing? And we'll start with RUG8 again. The ship is being pulled back. Uh, the thrusters are firing. Um, uh, um, you guys are moving at an incremental rate, trying to get out. The Star Destroyer behind you is being peeled back. Uh, pieces of it are being peeled off of it. There's ex multiple explosions. TIE fighters are whirling back beyond you guys. Uh, what is RUG-8 doing? Uh, I'm calculating the, uh, the amount of uh, force and physics involved so that we can uh, safely hyperspace lights, light speed out of here while keeping the ship intact. OK, so how are you doing this? And right. let me uh, tell you guys, you can't, it, well, you can. It's called spamming in the rules. If you spam the same trait over and over, you get a diminishing return from it. So you have to do something different each round. But you can, you know, do the same thing. It just doesn't count as much. It becomes a little bit more difficult to do. So instead of needing, you know, the four successes, you'd need like five. What's resistance under resistance uh, skills? As, resistance is basically your ability to resist stuff. 
Oh, I got poisoned. Give me a, a, you know, a physique plus resistance. Oh, this guy's trying to be mean to me and make me cry. Well, you know, give me a presence plus resistance to not cry. Hmm. So um, is, I'm resisting. You're talking about stuff that's more personal rather than ship related. Well, but the thing is, is you can you can frame it how you want it uh, to. So let's say, for instance, you use resistance. Maybe you go out. Maybe something fell off the ship. You have to go outside and fix that piece on the ship. So it's resistance plus physique if you want it to, which would probably be really good for you because you have a really good physique. I'd imagine. I think it's. I think that's right. your. Uh, yeah, five. Question outside of we have two ships currently. We have um, Brevo's big one. No. Nope. Nope. That's gone. No, we gone. Are, we left my ship because your oh, ship. Oh, then we left my ship. No, no you're we're on your ship. You're we're on, we're on your ship. ship. Yeah. We're on the one. We're on the one. <laughs> the one. <laughs> Is that how it's written? D A one. D A C. All right. So I, I will take your suggestion and uh, physical and resistance. Fantastic. That's eight dice, and you need four successes. Okay. A six. Six? Hi, uh, yeah. Let's see. So that is two. So that's uh, three. One, two, three. All right. Let's, uh, let's mix it up. Let's go to, uh, um, let's see, who do we want to do next? Let's do uh, Jex. What is Jex doing? Okay. Um, so uh, I'm going to use my influence. Oh. Not quite as good as my performance. That's okay. Um, along with my um, presence to specifically inspire Brevo um, and just really like compliment their excellent piloting skills and how they're just really killing it and how we're not gonna die because they're not gonna let us die because right. I love them so much. Awesome. Okay. All right, we got, all right, that's good. So I get, Oh, 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 um, that was nice. Oh, oh, well, that's not good. Oh, <laughs> um, and well, what's not good? I just rolled, I just rolled one failure. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I had six failure. I mean, six successes. Oh, oh. Yes. Okay. So six successes. So that is another three. You guys are at 10 successes so far. You need two more. So, I believe in us. Yes. Um, so let's go to Brivio, uh, Brivo since uh, that rousing speech and the little girl, she huh. comes up and she puts her hand on your shoulder again, giving you uh, one uh, additional die, which is a wild die. Oh. And she's like, Aww. Uh, the shiny mustache man is right. You can do it. You'll help us out of here. Okay. So just going to look back. Love you, brother. Yes, and I'm going to try to use my knowledge and oh, evasion I like to it. know what types of things I can like basically press the buttons to manually drop off the ship to make the ship lighter as okay. I pilot out. Does that make sense? Like it's sure. going to like yeah. release things that we don't need so that we're our trajectory plus push us, you know, Go for it. <laughs> I just want to yeah. go after plus you. Plus it's going to upset the prince. Help. So it's like bonus. That's actually the right. extra nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You jettison the uh, travel treasure. It's the closet. Uh, the gone. Yeah. Not the closet. <laughs> the closet <laughs> first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. everywhere. All right, I'm gonna do it dramatically and roll one so dice. So you would roll. Um, what is that? Five dice. Mm -hmm. Plus the extra one from the. Plus the extra one. That's an extra wild dice. So remember that. It's been good so far. Oh no, that was bad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so three, oh, sorry, I almost did a four because I was looking at a four, three successes. Okay, you needed four. So yeah. is there anything you're Wait. going to? Didn't you get an extra wild die? Did you roll, roll six times or did you only roll five? Huh? No, I rolled six. Okay, I can't. Yeah, five I just sorry. didn't get it. Oh, no, yeah, no, I rolled, I okay. rolled six. I was like, nope, this is six. I can count to six. That's right. <laughs> um, so I need one more. But you I don't think what? I have anything else that I can do. Um, you have any hero points? No, I used them all at the. That's cool. Sometimes you just fail, and yeah. you know what? 
uh, uh, the little girl says, that's okay. <laughs> that's I okay. tried my best. <laughs> and um, so then what is the prince doing? Well, I have... Oh, um, only one out. set of clothes. Could I have used it? No, I just said business. we were jettisoning the book. Wait, did you really take my closet? <laughs> Could I have used it's just business because I was like, like telling the prince that I was letting like releasing all their stuff and to to make that go up as because it's like a disadvantage that I have, mm. like activated disadvantage. It's a disadvantage. You know what? Sure. Go ahead and use it. You've got two hero points. So you can roll both of those as dice as uh Bribble looks back over his shoulder at the prince and says, it's just business. It's just business. You got two? So you yes. got a total of five, so that's two successes. Ah, successes. Ah. <laughs> hey, the prince sees this. Clothing <laughs> out the back. I know that a little, a noble tear runs down his cheek. I'm working. Come on, I'm working on it. There we go. Oh, there it is. There's that's that right. tear. It's going oh. down. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No yeah. one knows what it's like. Are we doing anything? Are we? Man. <laughs> If we extra bathroom, bathroom you know, we above the, the number, number. Right. Oh, yeah. we're all actually, talking at once. Right. Um, would somebody like to actually talk to me? That's right. Well, uh, what are you doing? Um, I have also evasion. Okay. And it is my ship. Who's driving? Brevo. Brevo and R U G eight. Okay, so um, that's fine. I would like to put in both evasion and intuition to make sure we get the heck out of here. Well, you can use one skill and one attribute. Let's see. Oh, then what is the attribute that's P-R-E, precognition? Presence, that's your presence. Oh, then I will do presence and evasion. Um, I'm not usually a pilot, but I have been in the ship a lot and I do understand some of the like out there places in the universe. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, whatever. So I would like to use, um, whatever you just said, PR you was. Yeah. Presence. A, uh, your presence plus your evasion. Absolutely. That's seven dice plus two. So right. roll seven dice plus two. All right, so here we go with presence. Here's, well, yeah, no, because presence is four. Oh, okay, so we got a six, a four, a three, and a two. Okay, so uh, the six, the four, uh, and the two, that's three successes so far. So roll that evasion, those three dice. Well, we got the two there, and it's a three and a one. Okay, so that means you still have three successes. You need four. Is there anything you can put on that, like a hero point, some hero points to Sure, add? but I still haven't rolled my other one. Your other that one? That was a four plus a two for my presence. Yeah, it's I plus you... two pips. So you, yeah. what you do is you take and roll up a dice two points. So if you had one that was a two, you could have rolled oh, it to a success. I did this totally yep. wrong. Um, well, that's okay. We're here to help. And that's what we did. So you're at three so far. We know that's what you were saying. Okay. All right, sounds great. So I was doing influence? Uh, evasion. Yep. evasion. Evasion. All right, that's fine. That's 3D, so that's two fours and a two. Okay, so two fours, uh, so that is five successes total. So Yay. that is two successes. So, uh, let's, uh, so let's go to uh, finally to Ibea. So, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. Could I add something to that to make a thing? Uh, you can. You got any hero points? I have five of them. You can spend three if you would like. To do what? Basically add more successes. You would roll them and see if you could get more successes. I'll save them. Okay, cool. So, Ibea, the last uh, on the list. Ibea would like to kind of get out of the way and like sit and okay. meditate and use cool. her willpower and her telekinesis, I guess or willpower okay. and presence to like sit and make sure that we do not go any farther. I mean, we've passed, but oh, we don't go any okay. farther back to the, the gravity and nothing hits our ship in front of us. Cool. And also, cool. Um, I'm going to add to that, if I can, one with the force, 
which is my advantage. And then my disadvantage, which is always right wrong, is I want to make sure that little girl gets safe. Okay. And I want to use my one with the force to just add the three, whatever I need to do to make sure we just get away with style. Okay, cool. So this is what you'll do then. So you're going to roll your telekinesis. That's plus one. Willpower, so that's four total. And your um, presence, so that's two dice there. So what the heck did I say? That's five. That's six, six dice. Six. six dice and you're one with the force. You can add three additional dice or you can re-roll your failures. Which would you like to do? I'm going to re-roll my failures. So I'm going to okay. roll first. So go for it. Roll those six dice. Uh, that is four successes right there. Okay. Um, so now I need to re-roll my failures, which I guess would be one with the force. Uh, yep. Two more failures, so that's, I mean, two more, two more successes, so I've got six successes now. Six successes, uh, six successes, uh, so that is, let's see, that's, uh, one, and then you get to, so that's three additional. Awesome. Okay. You guys managed to make the jump to light speed and get away. Um, you guys got a total of 17 successes at the end. So what, and the question was, is what happens if we get extra successes at the end? In uh, a normal game, what would happen is, is that you guys would get additional renown or extra goodies. So depending on what the event was about, let's say it was a, a heist. At the end, you might get additional treasure. Um, at the end of this one, you guys get to your destination um, you know, uh, in style, the ship isn't destroyed or ruined, except, you know, everyone's been wearing the same clothes for like the last week because, you know, there are no clothes, but everyone's got a cape to sleep in. Because they dumped my clothes. They did. They did. There Remember that part where we didn't die? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Business. <laughs> That's right. So you guys managed to get away. And uh, report back to, I think, I believe his name Gaff. is Major Gaff. Gaff. Or was it? Yes, Major Gaff, who is uh, uh, the, uh, the Pandabata, which are those kind of warsmen guys. Um, and uh, basically report back what you guys did. Um, you guys see, like, on um, the cafeteria wall at the Rebel Hangout, uh, the two droids, and they've got, like, little candles and uh, little stuff, you know, around a little picture of them uh for you know little effigies that's right and um your droid uh, uh j4 is beside herself with uh droid grief at the loss of uh these two uh intrepid droids that gave their lives for the rebellion um and uh you know is, is very sad about it but you guys managed to get this little girl back what do you guys do with the little girl as the epilogue um, I guess we tell General Gaft, that's right, is his name, mm -hmm. General Gaft, or Major, uh, but, Major Gaft, uh, what we learned about her really and try to secure a Major. safer place. Yeah, is there like a, a Jedi, is there, is it, do yeah, I know? Is, is there a Jedi temple nearby? That, like, do we really want to hand, I kind of like, want to immediately be like, oh, this child's not going to be a Jedi, I'll, but I would like to make sure they get to the safe space. <laughs> right. Oh, I we wasn't should... suggesting we give her to General Gaff. I was just asking him if there was a safe place for her. And oh, we were, okay. Like, explaining. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was yeah. unclear. Yeah, no, there's, there's definitely like safe houses all over the galaxy where, you know, and I'm sure there's a place where orphaned uh, children, uh, because, you know, the, the rebel parent died, they go to the the Orphan Rebel Orphanage? I don't, yeah. Rebel Orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, like, my, this is not the happy end. Yeah, well, she so. She gets her little bowl of gruel every day and oh, has to uh, go like uh, darn socks, you know. No. Make her quota. Uh, no, of, uh, no, 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 not, not my precious uh, angel. Dude, we, just, we stole we them back from the orphanage then. Uh, <laughs> and she uh, the crew. That's Can she right. go to a Jedi temple? I think that sounds like a good idea for someone with that much compassion. Well, we know how think... Voldemort was made. We're not doing that again. <laughs> That's right. Well, there's no Jedi temples right now because, you know, Jedis have been outlawed and, uh, you know, wiped out. But there are places you can take. I mean, there's, it's an entire galaxy. There's definitely yeah. some we'll idea. some planet. lovely sanctuary planet, yeah. and that's where they will flourish. Yeah. Okay. Uh, feathers out in style. Yeah. Or, you know, the prince could set her up. 
you know, as a uh, sure. yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, right. I'd be delighted to. I will fit her. I will give her food that doesn't suck. I will outfit her, them, he, and the best things. I will make sure that they never become close to the cis side again. Fantastic. I thought you were going to say, I will make sure they will never become close to Brevo. Oh. That's really what I thought you were going Wait, to say. Brevo? That's what I, I thought, thought you were going, going to say. I to date after this. <laughs> no? So no. Wait. No. Nothing. <laughs> I missed it all. No, yeah, that's fine. That's, uh... that's, that's always the way. A pining heart, unrequited uh, uh, affection, yeah. turned away. Money, money can't buy love, y'all. Money can't buy love. <laughs> that's right. But this little girl could be between you, and bring you both closer together. No, I'll just take. I'll just take the kid. I'll. I'll... <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So now uh J490. Revo, uh, I'll text you. I know. <laughs> okay. Well but, that, but really. I know. <laughs> I know really. <laughs> On the low key, you uh you get a text. Um uh, but that's the game. That was uh my little ditty, which um I didn't get to kill you guys. I, I tried as hard as I could. But uh, we're I just too good. We <laughs> actually, I, I, I thought we were definitely going to die. <laughs> I, I assumed that I was going to need to sacrifice myself. Honestly, right. I'm like this is going to be what's going to need to happen. I took okay. on like a Sith weapon that was literally taking out of my soul every time I used it. I was like, that's fine. I'm ready for hell. But right. whatever, what, whatever, whatever, like whatever realm that's going to be in. Ah, this well, was you know, so much fun. You can, you can never take it off but it's there, so you know. I know, so are you saying, Jerry, that we may see these characters again? We could absolutely see these characters again at a Mardi Gras, but uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and my mustache are gonna look great Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Actually, I would think actually be we may here. have a plan, folks. I think <laughs> we may have a plan. Um, so yeah, Jerry, go on, please wrap us up with what happened today. Uh, well, uh, basically you guys get back. Um, if we wanted to do like a denouement or an epilogue scene and stuff, um, Captain Brill is definitely like looking for uh, these scoundrels who basically uh, got away um, from, uh, 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 from him. And he is now on the hunt looking for these, uh, these rebels. The uh, Sith uh, 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 lady, uh, was probably obliterated by uh, a simple uh, gangster droid named R95 who uh, blew up uh, the rest of the station. And you guys are hailed as minor heroes uh, that probably no one will ever really know about since, you know, they don't publish this stuff in the newspapers. But, uh, you know, in the background, there's still also uh, Vixor Lux, who is uh, looking uh, uh, for a few of you uh, for um, past business dealings. So we, you know, we can leave it there with you guys doing your little things. So that's my adventure. For now, I would like to say um, thank you again so much for joining us. Uh, you will be able to find, if, if this is the first one you're watching of Dancing Dice Theater, please know there is the beginning part of this. Uh, just stick on Really Dicey's YouTube and also nerdcaliber.com. You can look us up. So this is part two and we, also have a D and D five E that started this, and we're going back to that in a really spooky way as we get into fall, y'all. So I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna say good night. First of all, thank you for having us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for letting us into whatever little thing your your bedroom, your iPad, your coffee shop, wherever you are. Thanks for watching. I'm Gogo Incognito. I am part of Really Dicey. I'm the co-producer of this. You can find me also, weirdly enough, three times a week on Sirius XM as a DJ for Radio Margaritaville. Oh. And I want to give you over now to my co-founder and the Really Dicey master, Manny Ortiz. 
Uh, Gogo already said it. Um, um, you could find this at Really Dicey uh, YouTube channel, uh, Nerd Caliber uh, YouTube channel as well, and, and on the website. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and um, I'll pass this back. Okay, let's go down the way to May, who played as Brevo tonight. Yay. Looks so good, curved Bobby. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining. As usual, hopefully forever, I um, was May playing as Brevo, Bonaldi the Smuggler, and you can find me on Instagram and TikTok as at Amira Trash Talk. All right, Natalie as Jax with the most fantabulous mustache and also the maker of the earrings. Tell us all. Yeah, uh, I'm Natalie Stone. You can find me on Instagram at Stone Cold Maker and uh, maybe someday soon I'll actually be making dice. <laughs> in the interim, uh, I knew the odds were in our favor and I'm just really glad that my mustache and I lived to, to fight another day. That is awesome. Okay, back to Danny. Hey guys, this is Danny B. Um, all around nerd. I played Ibea today and he did not die and I got out of this with a delightfully snazzy cloak. Um, thanks so much for watching. We had a great time. We did have a great time. Again, you will see us a little bit later this month or possibly to the end of the month with a whole new game in a whole new spooky setting with brand new characters. Also, Jerry, please say goodbye. Um, yeah, I'm Jerry Grayson. I really appreciate you guys having me. This is a fun experience. This is a fun group of players. And I hope to be back soon to do some more shenanigans. We would love to steal more of your soul. So thank awesome. you, Jerry, so much. We can't wait to have you back. Again, y'all, please hit that subscribe button here on Really Dicey. We're Dancing Dice Theater. Good night. Bye-bye.